drunk every night If I can make it If I try to drive the red light I could run through the fire I could crank every night If I can make it If I try to drive the red light What is up, everyone? My goodness gracious. Up on a Sunday, and it is uh, it is dark at St. Croix. How is everyone doing, though? How is everyone's holiday? That's what I want to know. I see some peeps in the chat. King Doge, Smash to Trash, V.A.S. Age Fishing. Imran is here. Reese Wadley. Hey, man, big fan. Hey, thanks, Reese. Elijah, Cat Plays, Jadarius Collins. Hello, Jadarius. That's a new name. Alex Hayes is here. Old Smash to Trash. I'm surprised you're having a live stream tonight. Well, I tell you what, I just had some time. And uh, and I figured, you know what? Let's do it. I'm I'm gonna be fishing. Might as well uh might as well make it a deal with, with lots of people. <laughs> might as well have some fun, right? chat with some people tackle box talk with joey tantan the muffin man the list just goes on goodness gracious guys here we go nope that's not what i want to do so we're going to start off with some uh some good old pike here in st croix and we can obviously go on i do have some uh some weaker rods here so we can maximize our uh our experience gain but let's go here Throw out some rods. Louise is here. Flacco Kills Gaming. I see, I see. Rodney A is here. My goodness gracious. Friend from Alaska. Bonfire Outdoors is up. It's Cantor. Well, hello there, Cantor. I'm going to call you Bonfire from now on. <laughs> All right. Well, there's our first fish, evidently. So uh, these are these are weaker rods to uh, try and get more experience. So uh, if you're wondering why it's taking us a little bit to uh, get these uh, northern pike in, that is the reason. 
Trophy Northern Pike, 401 experience, though. Nothing wrong with that. I'm Rambo, Cole Starkey, Samuel Harris. My gosh. Hope you and your family had a great Christmas. Hey, thank you, Cole. We, we did. I hope everyone else did as well. Rambo caught a 145-pound tarpon. Right on, man. Tell you what, when we get to uh, Blue Crab again, we will... Uh, we will certainly take our time. I don't like that you're not able to move after catching now. What? When did they change that? You used to be able to run around. Now, now you can't, evidently. According to this, anyway. Are you going to play Call of the Wild? No. Uh, if you read the title of the stream, I'm getting to level 50. Um, playing Call of the Wild is, is not going to help me do that. <laughs> um, as much as I, I'd like to, um, shooting some animals is not going to help me level up in Fishing Planet. So, uh, so yeah, but we are here in St. Croix to catch some, uh, to catch some big pike, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. That's the cat boxer. We don't want that. Speaking of cat boxers, though, my golly. Oh, I've got something. I got something. Let me catch up on the chat, though. 49 are you gonna me cat big fame cat is here that's right goodness gracious i missed out <laughs> cooper metcalf is here samuel schlegel ethan scheuer streams and it feels like i haven't been here forever what are you doing samuel what are you doing nice shirt one of my favorite colors hey thanks man it's the uh it's the new hero show i have other stuff to show anyway so here it's the new, uh, the new BZ Hub fishing shirt. It's got, got the cool, of course I can't see it, but I hope, I hope you can see it. Got the cool catfish state of Kansas on the back. But this bad boy, oh, can't, I can't put it together. It wouldn't do us any good. It's got a rope handle. And I mean, it is, it is thick, man. It is thick. Picked up the wrong rod. Of course. That is, that is what I do. I am, I am the guy who picks up the wrong rod. Well, right on, Rambo. Jonte Thompson, I wish I could join, but you're on Xbox. Hey, understandable, man. There we go. A little seven pound Northern Pike. Not a big deal, not a big deal. They give an extra 10% XP. You know, that is a good point. Um, I wonder if we can buy some barbless hooks while we're here, because I don't have them. Some seven up barbless hooks is what we need, sounds like. First live, John Day Thompson says, Hey, right on, man. How am I doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Barbless hooks, they don't have any barbless hooks for sale here. Gosh darn. We'll have to wait till we uh till we leave and uh and maybe try something else. I'm I am all up for uh going to uh Octuba as well and fishing for some Belugas, I'm up for that. I'm 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 up for it. Um, we'll just have to see how how things go. Gosh dang it! I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Saw it in the lily pads, and I thought to myself, mm, "That's not good." <laughs> hey, nice rod. Hey, thanks, cowboy. Uh, my uh, my brother Z got it for me. I'm pretty excited about. It. I think it's pretty cool. Eager to uh, to to throw on a, a, a reel that I just bought today and, uh, and and go out for some flathead, man. Or some big blues on the Kansas River or something. We'll see. The new map, it's worth getting. I'm on console, so I don't think it is out yet. The new map. Are you asking if the new map is worth getting? Of course. All the maps are worth getting in one way or another. I think all the maps are fun in their own way.
thousand dollars 201 xp we still have a uh, bottom rod we can throw out here as well and we're about 40 pounds away from skipping on to the next hour for that so right now I'm using uh, a 22 pound rod and reel and a 25 pound rod and reel I got two of the 25 pounders um, and this is just to maximize the uh, XP we're going to get from these guys. The ones that are under 10 pounds are going to give us very little. But if they're over 15, we're going to be looking pretty good. And then if we catch a trophy, uh, a plus, uh, up to unique, we're going to be making a lot of money. So uh, a lot of money and a lot of XP. And uh, the barbless hooks definitely would have been a cool move. I totally forgot about it, So as I usually do. Um, but yeah 228 xp there to think that with the beluga you get about 6,000 xp i want to say so we would have to catch oh probably 12 of these pike to uh do one beluga sturgeon but obviously 12 pike isn't like that's that's pretty obtainable you know there are so many pike here so easy to catch pike here you know my hair change. I, I did get a haircut, but it's mostly just the sides. There we go. Where is Squish Omega? I don't know. It's a good question. About the shirt problem. And I'm, I'm waiting for them to get back to work so I can call, call customer support and figure it out. <laughs> I'll buy a mule deer at Silver Ridge Peaks. Hey, right on. Fortnite. That's awesome. Albino mule deer. All right, if we can catch one more fish, we'll be right on schedule, I think. See that one bobber's moving a little bit. Oh, we shouldn't pick this up. Gosh darn it. Oh, we're picking it up again. That's why it's important to, uh, to me to uh, put your rods in the holder as they're on your keyboard. Otherwise, I get them confused. <laughs> My goodness, Ethan Scheuer. You got cash for days. You're an emperor now. Okay. Getting fish playing now. Any tips? Don't know much about the game. Levi Waldner. Uh, yeah, I have an entire beginner series, man. Check it out. Colt Faze is here. Got new Zebco 33 Platinum Reel. Right on, man. That's awesome. Silver Ridge Peaks. Cooper Metcalf got a Diamond Mountain Goat. Right on, dude. Tayshawn Williams is here. How's it going, Tayshawn? Should you buy a bass boat? If you can buy a bass boat, sure. Aiden Murray, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Bonfire's not feeling good. Right on, dude. Take care, man. Aiden Murray got a fishing kayak. Right on. That's awesome. Bo, oh, should you buy Sea of Thieves? I don't know. I've never played it, so I, I don't have much of an opinion there, man. But uh, if, it, if it sounds fun, go for it. Your biggest is a nine-pound flathead. We'll ride on, John Day. That's cool. Yeah, I can't wait to... Uh, I can't wait to actually catch one and, uh, and weigh it for once. That'll be pretty sweet. <laughs> Do you need DLCs for Fishing Planet or are all the maps free? All the maps are free. You can get everything in the game just by uh, playing the game and making money. So there's no reason to spend any actual money. Um, just play the game, uh, Levi. Real cringeless YouTube. Hello, hello. Used to be the same level as you like a month ago, but then I grinded and now you're level 61. Right on, man. Very cool. Well, get them back to work. What the heck? Won't be probably a rat passed away. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Taylor Mitchell got Madden 21. Very nice, dude. That's cool. Cowboy's brother caught a flathead 28 pounds. Wow. Nice. That's why I want to I want to get I want to get 28, 28 pounds plus go higher than that. Bigger, stronger flathead. Your videos help a lot. Jelly Squad, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> really appreciate it. I'm glad they're helpful. 
Um, so as we can tell right now, there's really not much biting going on, especially since we just caught 93 pounds worth of uh, pike, and now they're just not doing anything at all. Um, so we're just going to reel in real quick. I like to just reel as fast as I can and, and bring my rod tip up to avoid these uh, uh, lily pads and these cattails. Sometimes it's hard to avoid it, though. You'll still see me uh, give me some cattails and stuff, some lily pads. Um, so we're gonna go forward to nine o'clock. It usually works out pretty good with my uh, with my fish keeper. I have 440 pounds of fish I can keep, and so if I can uh, catch 100 pounds in one hour, and then skip forward another hour, and then catch another 100 pounds of fish, and then um, and then skip forward to the next one, and just kind of keep doing it that that way. Keep catch 100, move an hour, catch 100, move to the next spot. Uh, catch another hundred then I can catch about 440 pounds of fish in one day you know in, in, in a few in a few you know <sighs> anyway anyway I'm a, why, I, why am I explaining this you all know this Chris Mosiello I don't have any barbless hooks so uh, so you know I love the I love the the tips man and, and other people have definitely said it but I can't buy any here, so uh, so we can't do anything about it unless we leave. <laughs> Ever thought of playing Minecraft? Uh, yeah, we've played Minecraft in the past as well. Um, on Twitch and stuff like that, just for funsies. Have you shot the great one on Layton Lake? No. No. I don't play that game enough to do that, man. You, you realize I play I play uh, about seven hours, maybe eight hours a week, and six of those hours are during our live streams. I, I get about two hours to play other than that. So, uh, so no. I, I don't think I'm going to do very good hunting for two hours <laughs> a week. I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to have much of a chance going for the, uh, the great one at, the, at that rate. <clears throat> Where are you fishing? We're fishing at St. Croix. Good old St. Croix. It's a it's a good one. Good place for some pike. Uh, there's big blue cats here. Some trout. It's kind of an interesting place, honestly. Ryan can't seem to keep a uh, Ryland. Can't seem to keep money. Well, stop spending it, Ryland. What are you doing? <laughs> That there's a great one reindeer now. What? I bought the boat. Good. Good deal. Oh, 15. Nice. There we go. Here we go. Got another one on. We haven't we have yet to catch one that's pulled us out. So we're still. Still dealing with uh, sub 20 pike at the moment. Taylor Mitchell does saltwater fishing. Well, right on, man. That's awesome. Man, I do not like it that you can't move now when you're getting fishing. Can't go. Uh, can't go get stuff. Samuel Harris's biggest flathead is 32. We'll ride on. Hey, this one's got some pressure. I like the I like what this one looks like. We're still uh, hogging it in though. But uh <laughs> At least the pressure is is up there. That's for sure. Splash. Yeah, there we go. 19 pounder and that's 567 XP there. That's awesome. Go pal. Go pal. Hello, go pal. I'm shouting your name out. I don't I don't know why, but hello. Samuel Schlegel got a new shotgun. Well, right on, man. I feel like it's just a rumor that I hyped up the G1 Whitetail so much. They wouldn't sneak in a G1 reindeer. Well, I said they they said they would, 
um, in a way. They said that the patch notes would say that a new great one was added, and then they would leave it at that. But I don't remember seeing that, so I'm not sure. Remember when I said I wanted a 30 out 6 for Christmas, I got a 22. Hey, a 22 was my first rifle as well, so right on, man. You're right on track, Carson. 22s are great. I, I really enjoy 22s a lot. Go out, get rabbits and squirrels. It's fantastic. Ricards is back. We'll ride on, Ricards. I'm glad you're back. That trombonus, bonjour, bonjour, trombonus. Hey man, I just wanted to thank you so much for making this amazing content. Aiden, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I thank you for being here. It, uh, it makes making the content so much more fun when uh when other people enjoy it that's for sure boat is very fast yeah just to let you know that the barbless hooks give you more xp yep <laughs> yep we know we all know why right, they're good for ep good for ep here we go. Here we go. Jonte got a 22 as well. Hey, right on, man. Ryan Slaughter is here. Well, hello there, Ryan Slaughter. I had a, uh, I had a friend in college whose name was Nathan Slaughter. So that's pretty cool. You are killing this, Kelsey Quinton says. Thanks, Kelsey. Cannot wait for you to go to Weeping Willens. I, I can't either. I honestly can't. That's why I wanted to uh, spend some time tonight to just try to crank out. Crank out some XP. And it sounds like we need to go get some barbless hooks because uh, like that that 449 uh, XP pike there, we would have got 490 if we were using barbless hooks. And everyone's losing in their minds that we missed out on 40 XP. So uh, we're definitely going to have to go back and get barbless hooks uh, at the end of this day, for sure. That's from getting my motorcycle. I also have a doggo. Hopefully, we'll hear back Wednesday. Right on, right on. Sounds good. Here, I can't say for long, though. Hey, Canada man, that is okay, bro. Your first weapon was a 22. Now you're up to your own 30 odd six. Very nice. I never had a 30 odd six. I had a 25 odd six, which is a great rifle for Kansas. Um, it's a nice. It's a nice round. There's a 10 pounder, 240 XP there. Just cranking out these fish. We still got about 20 pounds of fish. We still need to get before we move on to the next fishing time. So let's keep on moving here. Just popped in your ASMR feed. Thought you'd drop in. Good luck, Lord Shax. Wow, thank you. I I think that's a that's that's just me, man. Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, can you do fishing ASMR? And I'm like, you betcha. Uh, just close your eyes and imagine that you're fishing right now. So so yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what this is all about. Winnipeg Kids is here. How's it going, Winnipeg? Jonathan Savington was here last Monday. I, th I feel like I remember the name Savington. These freaking pike are insane. They are. They are insane. Rambo is about to be at Weaving Wells. Yeah, I know, man. You already told me. <laughs> Any tips on catching the Mad-Eye Buffalo? Have patience. Try different days. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I think I just lucked out. I tried like two times and then got it on the second time. So just keep at it. I had a lot harder time trying to get the darn dendrofin than the mad eye, but maybe I was just lucky. Real Clint just got a 66.5 cream more right on Bradley day long. Oh, well, hello there. I didn't see when you said hello, but now I do see it. But uh, take care, Bradley. We'll see you next time. I'm right now at Blue Crab Island. We'll ride on to Winnipeg. 
Are you drinking Angry Orchard? No, I'm not. I am not. Isaiah. Hello, Isaiah. Stream is really fun, but late. You rip on after two minutes, but still, I love you. What? But late, you rip on after two minutes? What are you talking about, Ricard? What are you talking about, Ricard? We're uh we're in a we're in a dry spell, everyone. This morning dropped four to five with the 30 odd six. My goodness, that's a lot of deer. Have you ever played any of the Elder Scrolls game, bro? Bro, I grew up on Morrowind, bro. That was like one of the first games I played. Uh, I remember being a little kid and I had no idea what was going on, but I had swords and I had spells and I could shoot a bow at things. I thought Morrowind was amazing. And then I got my first uh, gaming computer sort of deal for my parents for Christmas and I played Oblivion on it and uh, and then played Skyrim, beat, beat Skyrim three times, I think. And uh, and maybe attempted it, you know, a few times more, but just gave up halfway through. I love the Elder Scrolls games, bro. I love the Fallout games as well. I love the, yeah, I, I love a lot of those RPGs, man. Deleting Fish Planet, keep downloading again. How's your day been? You keep you keep deleting it and downloading again. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking, bro? You can't do that to Fishing Planet. What did Fishing Planet do to you? Gonna buy a sling for your 22? Yeah, right on, man. That's a good idea. Makes it easier to carry, that's for sure. Recently finished building your gun safe. You built the gun safe? What platform do you play on? Play on PC. PC. Which is the easiest one to stream from, that's for sure. Oh. The Watcher's here in Jack Bolstridge. Hello, hello. How's it going? Not too bad. Not too bad, guys. Fishing. Doing some fishing, some digital fishing. How could I be uh, worse, you know? This is great. I'm having fun. 387 XP with that guy. We, uh, we pulled... Accidentally changed our... This is how we get our rods mixed up. Pick up the wrong ones. Get that out of the water. Ooh. There we go. Jack Bolstridge. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Here's just a tip. Just never give any tips. It just becomes, like, because I hear it, I hear it a bazillion times. One person comes in and says something, then another person comes in, says the same thing. After I've heard the same thing four times, and I can't do anything about it because I'm already fishing here, it's just, it just becomes spam. And so just don't offer any tips. Just never. Just never. Just enjoy the stream. Chat with me about Christmas or something, or, or your holiday of choice. Goodness gracious. He is Canadian. All right. Well, that's pretty sweet. We got some Canadians. We got some Canadian. Even the moderator's Canadian. Oh, Squish Flint. That's a pretty decent guy. 18 pounds there. Fortnite game has got to take off. Hey, take care, man. Keep going into debt. Well, come on. You gotta fish, bro. You gotta catch more fish and make more money. Can't go into can't go into debt. J and G Bostain, yeah. Yeah, we we know. And and if you've if you had heard people ask that question in the past, my answer is that we're trying to beat Fishing Planet. 
and playing another fishing game is not going to help me beat fishing planet so uh so we're gonna we're gonna get to the end of fishing planet and then we'll play other stuff uh before we get there unless unless something special were to come up say uh, a special gaming month or something um that just you know we decided to play a bunch of random games throughout the month that uh we'd never played before um then maybe we would play it before we beat fishing planet but who's to say that would ever happen uh you know why would we even uh suggest that that was even in the realm of possibilities that we would be playing a bunch of random games in an upcoming month 20 pounder there very nice 2337 dollars 602 xp very nice we mix out on a whole 60 xp there golly it all adds up it all adds up i think this is our number two rod amber beltran it's you kale and it's me a bz hub that's right <laughs> Carson Peters got a switch for Christmas. Hey, you're right on, man. That's awesome. What are you playing on the switch? I got I got a switch. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. I'm trying to send you a friend request, yet yeah, your name does not come up. I play on PC too. I don't know. I don't know, girl. Says uh says BZ Hub right there. BZ Hub right there. Though I do have a video about uh, finding finding friends, so how to catch walleye on narrow spoons? Ooh, uh, three speed stop and go works for me, J and G Bostain. You can do a two speed or a three speed. Uh, purple narrow spoon, throw it out middle of the lake. It's pretty good. Hold up, hold up. Are you are you hinting at a gaming month? No, no. What? What? Who would say such a thing? Twenty dollar card and a phone for Christmas. Hey, you're right on, Kale. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Two twenty four there. Missed out on twenty two XP there. My God. Why are we not using barbless hooks? Oh my God. End of the world. What level are we now? We are level 48, I believe. Yep, almost 49. Almost 49. Well, today to as a late Christmas present. Well, right on, cringe list. That's cool. You said, uh, uh, um, Lippin' Bass, what did you miss? Uh, 258 pounds of pike so far. We've only been doing this for, for a little bit, though. Um, I'm honestly not sure how many how many minutes we've been doing it, but you know You you know, you know how it is Whoa, whoa Yeah, I I mean when you come into the thing I I, I say your name I don't know what else, I don't know. Here's the thing about shout outs guys like if it's like giving a review, right? You know, if you go to a restaurant and you eat food and you're like, oh, that was amazing. I'm going to write a review about how great this restaurant was. If you just show up into a random stream and ask for a shout out, how, how am I supposed to give a review? There, there is no shout out because I have no review. I don't know who you are for the most, for most of the time. So, so how could I say, oh, check them out. They're a great channel because I don't know. That would be a lie. You know, so shout out. Just don't ask for shout outs ever. Like it just, unless unless they are your best friend, and then and then they should just be able to give you a review because they're your best friend and they know you. So they they just do it uh, because they're your best friend, basically. You know, if I knew someone was a good channel, I usually put them down in the description. You know, if you check my description, I have recommended channels. I'm shouting them out with every single video I make. Camo, camouflage 20 gauge pump 9.3 over and under red dragon bow and rangefinder sight have the best scope in the game hey right on kale that's awesome 
That'll help for sure. I hope anyway. <laughs> Solid two out of five stars. That can't be true, cat. <laughs> Where are we fishing, Arena? We're fishing at uh, fishing at Saint Croix at the moment. You had the beginner stuff, understandable, understandable. Levin Bass is fishing for walleye at Emerald Lake. Right on, right on. I'm pretty sure we have. I wish you could uh, see how long you have to wait till you go to your next. Uh, time you can switch time again without uh, putting your rods away and stuff that would be very helpful but we'll reel it all up anyway that way we can see we have six minutes to go before we can move on to the next hour so let's just try. Let's just try. One star for diamond finding abilities and call it a wild. Three stars are missing because I'm dumb. <laughs> Very cool, Bostain. <laughs> what boil you recommend for carp? Ooh. I I don't know. I just try I just try random things. It depends on the carp you're going for though. Um I guess if you're if you're going for uh, a common carp or something, maybe try something sweet, like a, a citrus or a, you know, a fruit flavor or something like that. Um, versus like a grass carp or something. Maybe you want to try something that's not so fruity, but uh, up to you. Try some stuff out. Ever played Rocket League? It's a great game, bro. I played Rocket League when it first came out. That was that was about it. I played it for a little bit. My brother is actually pretty darn good at Rocket League, but it's kind of an old game, so we don't really play it anymore. Severely understaffed in the admin department today. Well, you know, it's a random stream can't re you can't expect people to show up You know People got things to do. I got things to do. That's why I'm fishing because that's my thing. I need to do I need to level up faster <laughs> Bryson Lafone, yo, yo, what up? What up Bryson? We're, we're, we're fishing. We're getting stuff. So therefore, I give you an F. F minus. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> James Donna, hoping to adopt. I am fab. Right on. Well, that's good, Bostain. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a hard six minutes, guys waiting for them to um, allow us to switch time again. Maybe we should try a uh, lure or something like that. Do we have a... I don't think we actually have a lure. That's what we should have done. For these, like, weird spots, we should bring a, uh, a rod here that we can toss lures out and try to get... Try to get a fish with that. We'll put it in our number four slot. I even have a 23-pound counselor with me. Well, shoot! What were we thinking? Huh? Hey, Zach is here. What's up, Zach? We have two and a half minutes to wait. 
Howdy, brother. Um, place to get really good money. It, it all depends on what level you're on, Lip and Bass, because obviously making money at one place is not the same as making money at another place. You know? I don't, I'm not sure what you said there, Bostain. There, we got something. <laughs> Gallivanting around Night City. Ooh. Hey, we got a... We got a hefty little guy here. Goodness gracious. Got him on the, uh, the 22-pound rod, I believe. So, he's... He's, uh, he's gotta be around there, maybe. My, my drag is about maxed out. So, or the line is about maxed out. And I think, mm, I think the line's 19.9 pounds. So this guy's gotta be close to that, maybe. Maybe not, though. <laughs> he's 10 pounds. God. I'm like trying to do math in my head like oh yeah that totally makes sense yeah it's definitely 19 around there cuz uh you know physics and stuff <laughs> Carrie Harvey how's it going do a live stream I I don't know J&G I don't know how to do that Steelhead fishing. When are you going steelhead fishing, Arena? Um, we actually fished for steelhead uh, a couple streams ago. Uh, look back, look back for the uh, bass fishing part two. I want to say our bass fishing stream part two. I think we uh, were fishing for uh, striped bass in uh, in San Joaquin. We caught quite a few steelhead. Carrie Harvey really likes the videos. Well, thanks, Carrie. Appreciate it. Did you show everyone your new rod, or are you waiting for that one? No, I showed it. I showed it off, man. Or at least what I, I was able to show off. It's kind of a long thing. It's kind of hard to show. <laughs> it's windy as heck right now here in Cornfield Land. Nebraska? I'm kidding. I know you're not from Nebraska. Henry Gravelar is here. Well, hello there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, hello. Merry Christmas to you, Henry. Because I got hunting safety course. Well, right on, Carson. Sounds fun. I remember those days. But we had a nibble, and now it's gone. Finicky fish. Finicky fish. Jack Bolstridge is going to come grind for a bit. Right on, bro. It's going back and forth. I was, I was coming close to reeling it in, and I was like, eh, let's just give him a chance. I'm going to give it 10 seconds in my head. Nope, no fish. There's no fish there. All right. Time to switch time again. Hopefully we can catch another 100 pounds of fish and uh, call her good. Get out of here so that people don't lose their mind about using barbless hooks and stuff. going to try it out tomorrow hey right on Bryson sounds good I uh I think I had a squirrel call but I think it's at my parents house I want to say I guess I have no the ones that I have a quail call too of all things <laughs> yeah very cool pretty sure the squirrel calls at my my parents house
Arena is level 35 today, right on. Evan Teal, Bo, you're back. Right on, Evan. Glad you're back. Glad you made it back. You're safe. Good deal. Are there striped bass in this game? Absolutely. Absolutely there are striped bass in this game. Here we'll get a bottom rod going. It was eaten or lost. What? Ghost Raider is new here. Well, hello there, Ghost Raider. We're just catching some pike right now. We're, we're just, just catching some pike right now. JNG Boston's got a short haired pointer. Well, right on. That's awesome. We, uh, I had a sh German short haired pointer named Anna. When I was when I was younger, it was it was my grandfather's, I guess technically, but but yeah, he was a great dog. <laughs> Where are you going to do the hunter call of the wild again? Probably right here. I probably will do it right here in my office. Um, I, I I'm probably going to play it tomorrow, most likely during the half and half. Uh, but you've probably seen my schedule. Um, which shows all the days that I stream and stuff like that. So you, yeah, it's a good resource to see when we're streaming and, and stuff, you know? Strike timed out. There was only, it was only on there for like 10 seconds. A little 13 pounder there. Your aunt and uncle had COVID-19, my goodness gracious. Well, uh, 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 the had is a good thing, hopefully. Hopefully they're better now. You know? Since I started fishing planet in three months, I reached level 65. Thank you so much for all the tips. Hey, right on, elemental. That's I'm glad you enjoyed the game. Sounds like you uh, you've been doing pretty well, man. It uh, it certainly uh, slows you down when you have to uh, make videos and and everything for everything you do. <laughs> Not only that, but but make videos for for like three different games, you know. As you as you try and balance because it always seems like you you put out one video and then someone else asks about another game and it's like yeah I know so then you work to get out that game's video and then by that time someone asks about another one and it just it just keeps going back and forth like that and then people wonder why you're not a high level in the game and it's like I, I never get to never get to play that game it seems like I only get to play it a third of the time I keep bouncing back and forth between other games. <laughs> Here's a 10 pounder. I live a, 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 I just, I just live a rough life. My God, can you believe it? People are asking me to play games. Ugh. Why? Why do you, why do you put so much, so much weight on my, on my back? <laughs> Look at this tiny guy. All right, last one. Woo! There we go. What time you stream tomorrow? Uh, 7.30 p.m. Central. Uh, all of my scheduled streams start at 7.30 p.m. Central. So it makes it nice and easy. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Same time. <laughs> see anything about walk out without a gun? I see 599 of them. You can sense when death is coming. <laughs> Maybe, maybe so. Maybe that's what's going on. Boss Dane's puppy is uh, 48 pounds now. Right on, man. That's cool. I love puppies. Here we go. What a tank. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Oh my God, 20 pounds. What? That's like two times as much as I thought it would be. What? 
That's crazy, bro. All right, here we go. Throwing out this. After this, can you fish for stripers? After today, I will totally fish for stripers. I'm not sure when, but I will totally do it. So don't you worry, but also don't hold your breath. I don't want you to die, you know? Just wanted to stop by Don Lark. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. I love when people stop by. It, you know what it does is it, it lets me see people's names and it like kind of like puts it in my memory bank. And usually after one time, you know, I might I might remember your name if it stands out. Uh, but on the second time, I remember it a little bit better. And then by the third time, I'm like, yeah, I remember that name for sure. Can you do a tip video for white moose fishing for pike? Uh, I can certainly try. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Nice little short video I might be able to do. You like every video before you even watch the vid. Well, thanks, Lip and Bass. Appreciate it. Fortnite or Fishing Planet? Uh, uh, fishing Planet? <laughs> I've never played Fortnite. It, it just, I, I'm not a big fan of the Battle Royale games. I just, yeah. When they first came out and my brother was like, yeah, this is the game. And then we like waited in the lobby and then the game started and he like hopped out of a bus and was like down and like getting materials and stuff. And then he went into a house and he found a guy and the guy shot him and he was like, ah, oh, man. And I was like, yeah, what happens now? And he's like, well, we find another lobby and I do everything over again. I was like. Why is that fun? That's not fun. <laughs> why is that? Why is that fun? That's not. That's not fun. <laughs> I don't understand. So, so anyway, never been, never been a fan of those battle royale games. So many everywhere. I have a brown hybrid diamond one. Brown hybrid diamond. Brown hybrid diamond. That's pretty cool. Does your brother Z play the new Call of Duty? Yes, he does. A lot. And uh, and I've tried to talk him into playing, but he doesn't want to. I tried to talk him into playing for like videos and, uh, and maybe doing like highlight videos and stuff like that um, for YouTube. But, uh, but yeah, he's just very lazy. So if you want to watch Call of Duty highlight videos for my brother, because he's very good at it, he wins, he wins the battle royale, whatever it's called war, whatever. Anyway, does it, he does it quite a lot. I mean, I remember one night he was like, yeah, we did it. We won it three, three or four times. I can't remember in, in like one night. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, man. You should totally stream. And he was like, yeah, it's just a lot of work. And it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, right? Streaming, huh? Totes, totes lots of work, bro. Oh, come on. This guy was just about to go. I'm going to put this down. He's going to go, I bet you. I bet you. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Got him. Got him. Eric Peluso. Do I remember? I don't. I don't, Eric. I'm sorry, man. I'll, you know, the more you're here, the more I remember you, though. So, it's always a good thing. It's always a good start. Water lily. Ooh. Might have to go at 1 a.m. Oh my gosh. What time is, uh, what, what time zone, I guess? I'm not sure what time 1 a.m. is. <clears throat> Skyler Draper just has a moment, but wanted to see how my day was. I'm having a good day, man. Thanks for asking. Having a good day. Fishing Planet or Hunter Call of the Wild? Dif difficult. I don't know. 
I, I, I have a very difficult time choosing between the two of them. They're both really fun games. And, uh, and sometimes um, I'm, I'm wanting to shoot stuff and have fun that way. And other times I just want to sit back in my chair and and catch catch fish. Just relax. So, I don't know. I'm a very finicky individual, so I guess I have a tough time choosing between the... Choosing between them all. <laughs> Among Us is here. How's it going, Among Us? Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Katie Murray is actually Mason. Mason Murray? What time is next stream? It's 7.30 p.m. Central. Just like all of our scheduled streams. How long will you be streaming for? I don't know. Till we get level 50. <laughs> What's the best fishing sim? I can't say. I've only played this one. But uh, once we get up, um, once we beat this game, we'll move on and play other ones as well. I want to anyway. Um... You know, unless unless we had like a special gaming month that I played different games, but like I said before, I I just I don't know if that'll ever happen, you know. Willie Ford. Hello Willie, how's it going? And Hunt, I never said I answered your your uh well, I didn't answer your question, but I talked about your question anyway. <laughs> but I never said your name. Bryson LaFone didn't go 20. Didn't go 20. Indeed. Dragonfly. Yeah, we're totally we're totally not catching any fish. Alright, I'm giving up. Um I guess since everyone's everyone's losing their mind about it. Actually, it's been a while since anyone said anything. So, anyway, we're gonna go. You know, we probably made a pretty penny being here, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we're gonna lose all that money leaving here to get barbless hooks to make an extra 400 XP on the day. Let's just see. Let's just see. Fish keeper. We, oh, uh, I guess we can't see how many, how much XP we got all together. Um, but, yeah. Easy Hub is the best. What a great name. What a great name. All right, top notch. We, uh, we did make, how much was that? I didn't even see. $44,000 though. That's not bad. Marina's got to go. Hey, take care, man. I certainly did, Levi. <laughs> okay, let's get a let's get a barbless hook. You mean I have to spend bait coins for barbless hooks? Yuck. Gross. Ew. Blech. 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 Can't believe you guys talked me into this. You guys just wanted me to use bait coins, I guess. How dare you? How? How dare you? Very nice. We got it. We got it. Now we'll go back. Oh. Fishing for permit and tarpon. Hey, right on, man. We are, uh, well, we're six levels away from that. So I'm pretty excited. I think that's how it's spelled. Probably my new favorite hypercar. Ooh, very nice. Katie Murray's birthday is tomorrow. Very cool. 
I am somewhat new here, and I am sure a lot of people have asked this, but what is your favorite reserve on Call of the Wild minus Silver Ridge Peaks? Because it's close to my home state. Very nice. It's close to my home state, too. But uh, Verhonga is definitely my favorite. Um, uh, I, I've always been a fan of Africa. So, and when I traveled to Africa, it was like a dream come true. All of the things that I always thought about as a, as a little boy and everything... It was all right there in front of me, and uh, yeah. So African, African hunting, I'm telling you, it's awesome. That's where it's at. Do you yuck Kendall Gray? What? Where's Rat? I don't know. Jamie Styles, hi Bo, how is it going? Jamie Styles, it's going pretty well. Maine, we are, uh, we're here in, uh, in Saint Croix. And we're about to fish for some fish and make some moolah. Um, oh God, run he nil. Run he nil. Bow hunter call of the wild. Oh, are you saying bow hunter call of the water hunting simulator? Definitely hunter call of the wild. Definitely without a beat. I hope you recognize me not skipping a beat at all. I read your message and I immediately answered the, the question. Listening to you while fishing for Crystal Burpet. Hey, very nice. We caught one of those the other day. It was cool. I liked it. Gabriel Moda got level 50 today. Right on. Right on, right on. Levi Martin has 6 million in fishing plan. Well, cool, man. Sounds good. Sounds like you've been playing for a while. By golly, and that is pretty neat. I have not been playing that long. Sorry you weren't here. Oh, we're gonna totally hold it against you, Connor. <laughs> Jay Kizzle. Hunter COTW is here. Samuel Schlegel. Might be time for a Megan check-in. I agree. I agree. Where is the Megan? Where is the Megan? I'm catching up to you in terms of level. Is it worth hitting level 46 and heading to October or staying in grinding Sturgeon? Uh, I don't know. I've never grinded Sturgeon before. It looks super boring to me. But, uh, I guess, I don't know. I get the whole the whole thing was like staying at night and like catching a Sturgeon and then like catching another one and then you move on. I don't know. <laughs> we can try that after today, after this day in the game, we can go, we can go try to catch some sturgeon. How about that? Mix it up a little bit. But, uh, uh, going to Octuba, you could certainly go to Octuba, Jack. Uh, you, the one thing I have to say is that don't get so caught up on grinding. Grinding is fun, but it's an easy way to get burnt out of a game. If you're just going from one grinding spot to another grinding spot, like my brother always did in World of Warcraft, you're just going to get burnt out. Just have fun. Just just enjoy the game. You know, if you hit 46 and you've never been to Octuba, then go to Octuba. You know? There's no reason to not have fun in the game just because you just want to grind up as high as you go you know just as fast as possible because you miss the whole experience of being level 12 and using level 12 gear to to go to a new lake that you've never been to before and catching a trout that breaks your line because it's not good enough you know that's that's part of the game enjoy it you know Phone's about to die. See you tomorrow at 7.30. Sounds good, man. Willie Ford. Willie Ford. Jack Brellenton made it on. Right on, bro. Where is Squish? I don't know. She's just enjoying her Sunday. Sounds like that was 747 XP there. That wasn't bad at all.
Really want to get to Weeping Willow to see if it's accurate. Whatever it takes, man. Connor Johnson's only level six, right on. Where are we at? We're at St. Croix. TT game reviews. How are those TT games? What's the review on them? Here and outdoors, say hi to my dog. Hi to your dog. Bye, bye, J, J and G Bustain. Where is Bjorn? I don't know where Bjorn is. He's out doing Bjorn things. Who knows? Who knows that guy? He's crazy. You think you you think you have him pegged down, and then he's like, nah, nah, bro. Oh, I have a ding. That was a ding. Stop. That one right there. That's the one. box in the last video hey thank you appreciate it <laughs> 21 pounds 21 pounds well we're doing a lot better it feels like we're doing better today than than the day before i'm not sure i don't know though i don't know though <laughs> Is he in a meeting? No, he's outside about to bark. I can hear him. He's going whoop, whoop. You killed a level three white tail? Any tips or recommendations for someone beginning out on this game? Absolutely, Sparks. Uh, I always recommend to people starting on this game to watch my beginner oh. series and learn from my mistakes <laughs> you know each one of my videos is about 20 minutes long but it contains about two hours of fishing so i take two hours of fishing and i condense it into 20 minutes and it's gonna save you an hour and 40 minutes if you just watch the video and uh, learn from my mistakes before you fish for two hours so uh so yeah that's what i have to say about that that's all i got to say about that You left for two minutes and just heard you say it. Games, how's the review? Yeah, I was asking how the TT games are. You do reviews on the TT games. I wanted to know how they are. This guy's just in the lily pads now. He's not even doing anything. Connor Johnson will be in the next stream. All right, bro. Right on, homie. Do you have a thing for cars? I do not have a thing for cars. My brother likes cars, though. My brother has a thing for cars. You know, car people. I've always been into women, if you know what I mean. That's me winking. You probably can't tell if you're watching on mobile. I couldn't figure out if it was in the middle of the stream or in real life I've been streaming because there's no doors up here except the attic space and I'd cry. What? <laughs> What's moving right now? Oh, that one. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. No, a max level diamond white tail. Yeah, like level three. There's some great hunting here. 
You mean if, if there was no good hunting in Canada, you would have moved already? Bro, that's crazy. The grind is real, right? Oh, I know, right? I know, right? We, uh, we've almost got 100 pounds of, of pike. If we don't catch one in the next three in-game minutes, we're, we're moving. We're moving. Going somewhere else. They can't keep us here. They're not our mom. Who are they to tell us to stay here? Some of your fave video highlights. Ooh, well, you were kind of helping out with that, cat. Do you want to help me out? Try to find the best of 2020 video highlights? That would that would be very helpful, cat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm totally up for that. Finding some 2020 video highlights. That'd be awesome. Call the water just started. How do I tell if it's a great one? Um, if you see a great one, you'll you'll know it. That's, I mean, that's, I hate to say that as if it's going to make sense, but honestly, it makes total sense. Uh, the gray one looks like no other whitetail in the game, so there should be no confusion about it. Um, yeah, yeah. Buffalo Bills fan is grinding in Michigan too. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. We're going to do this for one more day, and then we're going to go catch sturgeon at St. Croix. St. Croix. Just your initials. Ah, dang. All right, bro. I got you. Yeah, I assumed it wasn't a max level at 10 because uh, then you would have just said you got a great one. <laughs> so we uh, so I was just going to go with uh, level three. <laughs> you found a buck with an out of this world rack out of this world rack. I mean, yes, if it's out of the world, then it's definitely a great one. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. You will help me 100%. Oh, cat. Thank you. Thank you. You just made my night. It looked like I was watching on a potato. <laughs> Striped grind? No. Sturgeon grind. Oh. So does it stay in your world? Um, maybe. I'm honestly not sure. Andrew Rigney, that guy? Old Bolstridge over there? Bolstridge doesn't care. Besides, he should have his setting on that uh, makes people disappear if they get close to him. You know, you know what I mean? And then it's not a problem. If you uh, if you turn this setting off, player models in close range, then uh, when you get close to people, they uh, they disappear and then they don't stand in front of you and stuff. So so not big deal, no big deal. Probably, probably a lot. Probably a good amount. Though, I tell you, if you do find a great one and you don't shoot it correctly, it won't be a great one. It'll just be a diamond. Or, or less than that, depending upon how badly you do. So that's always cool. Alright, we're gonna go forward some time now. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna play a commercial break real quick, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna get back at it. We're gonna keep on going, everyone. I played like a hundred hours. Ugh. That's a lot of hours, bro. Ruby or float? Where the frick did Ruby or float come from? I want a Ruby or float. 
Lee Lop is here. Okay, commercial. Yes, you! Did you know that BZ Hub now has memberships here on YouTube? That's right, for only $1.99 a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master Membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub Membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! Okay, back. Back at it again. <laughs> Look at the shirt. I know it's the it's the it's the number one BZ Hub fan. <laughs> Why Hub Master? Because you the master. Oh, there's honestly no, there's no reason. <laughs> we need a house tour. Oh God, you don't want a house tour. We could do a tour of Zach's room maybe. <laughs> Though, if you just watch his streams, you pretty much see his whole room. So, <laughs> make sure to make sure to check out Zacchaeus on Twitch if you're a Twitcher, you like Twitch and stuff. No, commercial break is a refill break. You are a lord, cat. I want one of those shirts for the shop. <laughs> That's funny. I bet it's possible. What YouTubers do you watch? Ooh, I've got um, PewDiePie, uh, Jaden's play, uh, Jaden's animations. Um, golly, uh, I can't think of his name at the moment. Um, Uh, one of the Guggen Squad guys. I can't think of his name. Ah. Um. Wow, I am blanking so badly right now. John, John B, old John B. Whenever I see John B, he always just seems like a guy that I could get along with. Just seems, just seems like my my speed. Now, nah, Flair's too young for me. He just comes off as a very young arrogant guy and I, I don't like flair <laughs> john is cool yeah i agree i like john cats and carp yeah cats and carps another one i like catfish and carp nick seems like a pretty cool guy so a better gun what are you recommendations what are you what are my recommendations um i don't know uh what are you wanting to hunt for i guess you gotta give me more specifications. 
Hunt Owl just hit that subscribe button. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, would you like that little ASMR drinking thing? Ah, so refreshing. They're like they're like going all over the place, but they're just not biting. Get it. Bite it. He does good fishing vids. He does do good fishing vids. That's true. He makes long videos. Oh, better take some pictures, Jonte. No, Pixar. Pixar didn't happen. Pixar didn't happen, man. BZ Hub is the best is messaging us now. Robbie Bracken, love you and subscribed. Oh my golly. Thank you so much, Robbie. What's a good caliber for Red Fox? Uh, 243 is a great caliber for Red Fox. Um, they're class two, I want to say, which is a difficult one to do. You like my name? I do like your name. BZ Hub is the best. It's a great name. <laughs> Another 10 pounder. All right, we got another 50 pounds of fish we need to catch, so we better get stay focused. Stay focused. You and Flinter should do a collaboration video. You know, I, I actually messaged him. I said, hey, Lots of people are asking for a collaboration video. I said that I would be bothering you if I asked, but here I am asking you if you want to do a collaboration video. And he said he would get back to me, <laughs> which is exactly what I expected. So there you go. I attempted it, guys. Now you just need to go ask Flinter to do a video with me. When will we fish for another fish? Once we get, uh, we finish this day off, basically. Kick in their bass TV? No, I don't watch that. Dakota James Salmon. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're good. No, we're not. We're not good. What's beeping? Third one. This one's... He's had us anchored for a second there. We got him, though. Easy peasy. I love your ASMR. <laughs> Thank you, Hunt. Appreciate it. Woo. the first time very excited hey right on levi i'll tell you when you're first starting out it's not i mean it's not very fast going you're gonna catch a lot of bluegill and the best thing you can do is uh is just catch a good 21 pound trophy northern pike like this that just makes things so much easier just right when you start fishing plant just go ahead and catch one of these guys and then catch a bunch more just you know just keep it going um no uh, work your way up and get a spinning reel, spinning rod and reel combo, uh, and catch spotted bass with a, uh, a casting spoon. If it's sunny outside, use a silver casting spoon, and if it's cloudy, use a gold one. Um, and just catch lots of bass, man. Work your way up, bro. I just got fine. Well, my goodness. $2,000 fine.
He actually rust uploaded like an hour ago. Actually rust uploaded like an hour ago? Uh, I don't know. What's a rusty upload? What is a rusty upload? You love it when you cast your lure rod and then your float rod goes off? Absolutely. Switch, just switch him off. <laughs> Gonna head to Cali and set up a friend's only room. I wasn't catching anything about 15 pounds there, so I'll see you in San Joaquin. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Artichokey, artichokey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know who fishing with Norm is. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog, and bologna. Also, macaroni, chilling with my homie. Poetry in motion. Poetry in motion. Kale. Kale Beltran, everyone. Don't you, don't you beat Bay was eaten or lost freaking hate that oh hidden me i invented bait being eaten or lost you're so stupid oh my god okay not we're fine we're fine <sighs> decompress decompress we're good we're good here we go actually i don't even i don't even want to catch fish bring them back out we're switching time everyone give me that other rod we're, we're switching time Oh, absolutely. I got that. I got Shad with buzzbaits and spades. In spades. All right, here we go. We're moving on. Moving on. Moving on up. Yes, indeed. Moving on up. Here we go. Moving on up. Fishing with shiners. 220 pounds to go. This is a long playlist. It's still playing music. My goodness. I like it. Nope. Nope, nope. You like chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. You are the bet. I watch everything. Bro. Anitra Justice. And... Anitra or an Antra? Which one is it? Tell me. I must know. Uh, thank you so much. Seriously. Watching everything. That's awesome. Oh, I hear my brother walking around. That's not a good sign. You ate the bait and you're hungry. Sorry. What? You have a pet bass? That's crazy, man. That's cool. Jonte's controller died. No, no. <laughs> Cyberpunk continues to crash on me and I've had it. I've had it up to here. Up to here. It's not that I'm mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just, I'm just so darn disappointed. BZ Hub is the best on Fishing Planet says that uh, you all should like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's absolutely free. I won't charge you one bit, but I will like you forever. I think so many people complained about it. They started giving refunds, Zach. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I've been hearing anyway. What's the best tip for 20 to 34? Um, catch bass, man. Naharan, Everglades, catch that bass. Kick their bass. Lots of bass. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Catch, catch lots of bass. 19 pounder there. Hoo, a hoo, 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 hoo. Killing it, killing it. Amber, good old, good old Kale. Pterodactyl, don't you know Pterodactyl starts with a P, Kale? Come on, come on, man. No way you have a pet Pterodactyl, you don't even know how to spell it. 
run to your friend's house for batteries. All right, bro. Have you ever thought about doing a gaming month where you play other games that you definitely not forced out to and what games might you play if you have? No, I've never thought about doing that. Um, uh, I just, I, it's just a ridiculous concept anyway. And to think that, you know, if someone were to do it, I would think that uh, the month after the holiday season, you know, you have you have you have uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. Yeah, October, November, December, and then all of a sudden January comes and it's super boring. And uh, and I just think if someone were to do a gaming month, January would be a great one to do it in. Because uh, everyone's so, you know, just depressed now that all the holidays are over. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's all I've got to say about that. Um, you know, January would be a pretty cool gaming month. And, uh, and if we were going to do other games, uh, well, I guess I, I would say that probably, let's see, um, just, just a few, oh, um, I can't. I, I'll have to think about it for a bit. I gotta catch this fish first. But uh, if someone were to do a gaming month, I've got a few. I've got a few games that I think they they could pro probably play. Um, you know, throughout the month just to keep things interesting. Um, but who's to say if if such a person would ever do that? Um, but let's see. They've got. Um, Oh, you could probably play like uh, Deer Hunter or, uh, you know, Hunting Simulator, uh, Hunting Unlimited, Hunting Unlimited 2, Hunting Unlimited 2008, Hunting Unlimited 2009, Hunting Unlimited 2010, Hunting Unlimited 2011, Hunting Unlimited 3, Hunting Unlimited 4, um, maybe like... Russian fishing for or like Sega bass fishing or like I don't know like Subnautica or like ultimate fishing simulator or like uh, uh, um, I don't know I'm just like thinking off the top of my head right here but like uh, yeah like golly I don't even know don't even know I'm like trying I'm trying I'm trying to think up other stuff that someone could possibly play but uh, nothing's coming to mind at the moment uh, but yeah anyway that's just that's just to name a few a few games that people could play um, I know that I know that there's some more out there that people could possibly play but uh but yeah Fishing Sim World Pro Tour could probably be another one. Um, yeah, Who, who's to say? Who's to say what else you could play? I don't know. Cold Phase is taking off. Hey, take care, man. Also just downloaded this like an hour ago. Landon Gadway, or Godway. Right on, man. It's a great game. Enjoy it. Enjoy the grind. It's a fun, it's a long game. So enjoy spending a lot of hours on it. That's what it's all about. Your fishing planet is updating. Very nice. What a mood. I get so stubborn with games. Just got a new keyboard and it sounds amazing. Anitra, that sounds awesome. Twenty pound speckled peacock bass. Very nice. Do you play Call of Duty? I don't play Call of Duty. My brother plays Call of Duty though, but uh, I do not. Though he's been playing uh, Cyberpunk a lot lately instead. So, have you ever played Fisher Online? No, I haven't. I'll get you to play it with me at some point. Yeah, at some point. <laughs> I'm the person that said, why are you bullying me? Yeah, I know. I know. Why did you say that? <laughs> you lost him. You're going to camp this. Okay. Sounds good, bro. You're going bass fishing on the boat now. We'll ride on. Sounds like a good thing to try. 
I posted in my dear BZ Hub Discord on the animal trophies. Very nice, Kale. Very nice, bro. See if we can catch a few more fish before we move on to the next hour. I'm sure we have to wait. This is that awkward like time period where we have to like wait a little bit. Oh God. Oh God. Goodness gracious. <laughs> 10 point eight there. Very nice. <sighs> what breed of dog Bjorn is a Norwegian elk hound? Good old Norwegian elk hound. The old Viking dog. The old Viking dog of old. The old Viking dog of old Viking dogs of old. What's your Discord? There's a Discord link down in the description. Also, I should be able to do something here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me see if I can try something here. Gosh dang it. Is it afterwards? <laughs> Maybe it's just not gonna work today. Eh. Oh well. Check the description, I guess. <laughs> Can't get the link to work. Not popping up today. It's been buggy. Yeah, I agree. You got him. Well, right on, man. Make sure to post a picture in the Discord. All right, here we go, here we go. Five minutes, okay. We got five minutes to go catch something else. What's your biggest bass? I need to know what, well, what type of bass? I need to know what type of bass in the truck. Cause there's, uh, there's quite a few different bass in the game. Did you say you were going to fish for belugas? Well, we could fish for belugas or we could go fish for, um, you know, golly, I don't even know. We could go fish for um, the, uh, the sturgeon in San Joaquin. I think someone else was wanting to do that. So it's, it's, up, to, it's up to you. Where we go. Easy have his best walleye. Nah, probably not walleye. <laughs> You got a gaming PC for Christmas. Hey, right on, Eli. That's awesome, man. There we go. There we got him. I love bobber fishing. There we go. There we go. How much time we got left now? Three minutes, okay. Well, basically four. Never seen belugas in Fishing Planet. Could be cool. They're basically a big sturgeon. <laughs> What's your biggest spotted bass? Oh, I have no idea. We fished for spotted bass back when, uh, back when we had blue crab for the uh, Bass Boat Explorer pack that we got from Fishing Planet. Is beluga fishing worthy? I mean, you can't keep it. No, you can't keep it, ready, steady, po. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, you get like 
somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 XP per per uh, beluga that you catch. So it's a lot of XP. And if you're wanting to level up like I'm trying to do, then going after a beluga is not too bad. Jonte Thompson quit. Okay. Gift I'm about to give you is for everyone who is not subbed. What? <laughs> How many doges do you have? I have one doge. I have one doge. Xander Harrisus. Is that right, Harrisus? What's up, man? What's up, Xander? Man, we just we just we just playing some fishing planet. Watching this bobber move to the right and then back to the left and then back to the right again. Like a crazy thing. Your pet fish drowned two days ago. No. No. How's it going? Oh, just, um, yeah, just catching lots of fish, man. This is taking forever, though. Stop, zoom out. My keyboard is doing something funny where it, like, uh, it keeps typing a lump of coal. Yes. Two lumps of coal. Yes. Yes. Finally, we got lumps of coal. Okie dokie. So can we change the time? We have 54 seconds. Left. Of course we do. Of course we have 54 seconds left. <laughs> Ty Rigdon and Patrick Chambers cut a bow fee. A bowfin and it snapped your line at the last second. No. Bro, bowfin are a pain in the butt. They really are. They're so cool though. They're cool fish. They're cool fish, but in early on, they're quite a little fight, but by golly, are they a pain? What pound setup is good for belugas? Um, oh golly, I can look and see what I have. I've caught them on my cat boxer and I've caught them on my, uh, the other one. I can't think of its name. I want to say that it's a 55 and a 65 pound setup. I've caught them on both of them, so. I don't know. I think you could probably do a 55 pound setup. Not too, not too shabby. But who's to say? All right, Kieran, you'll we'll definitely check that out, man. To I would just quit because you're so good. That's so wrong. Nitra, you crazy. Crazy. <laughs> now, I always just try to have fun. It, even like, uh, even playing sports and stuff when I was younger and stuff like that. I just always tried to have fun. If I was having fun and I beat them, then that was like the best thing ever because then the other person was trying so hard to win and I was just messing around the entire time and I still beat them. That was like the best feeling in the world <laughs> to know that I totally beat someone who was trying like as hard as they could and I still beat them. So, so now you know something about me. <laughs> Got a 66 pound unique flathead Hunter L. Cool, man. Hey, a, fi a bird could fall to its death. <laughs> what are you going to go fishing for? <gasps> oh, when you get to level 50, Gabriel Moda, at level 50, we're going to go fishing for carp at Weeping Willows. That's where all the big, unique carp are. It's a big deal, don't you know? Big, big deal. 
Ooh, we got something going. That is the that is the place to go fishing for carp in the game. So I'm pretty excited. Do you play on PC? Yes, indeed, I do. Never caught a both in and got him all the way up and then he broke you off, huh? Gosh dang it. Guess it's at least a diamond. Very true. It's all fun and games. True. True that, bro. Megan is here and she just woke up. <laughs> Do you have a PS4? No, I don't. I don't. I have an Xbox One, uh, like the original one, um, but I, I don't play on it. Like the only game I played on the Xbox One was uh, Destiny. I love Destiny. It was like one of my favorite games. And I played Destiny 2 when it came out and uh, I tried linking my account to it and playing it on PC, but it just wasn't the same. Just wasn't the same. Too many tryhards in multiplayer. They're too good. They're too good at the game. They're beating me too good. <laughs> so I said, well, that's dumb. I'm not playing. <laughs> Got a PC for Christmas. How much is this game? Yep, yeah, absolutely free. $2,000 pike. We're getting up there, guys. We got 353 pounds of pike right now. That, uh, that makes about... Close to 700 pounds for the day, or for the night of us fishing, I guess. We heard about your your uh, your friend passing away, Megan. I'm sorry about that. That's terrible. That is terrible. One of my candles went out. What the heck? John Tay is, is hopping on Fishing Planet. Right on. Oh, look at his fish, bro. Wow. Oh, he just disappeared. Okay. Icy Days. I see days and I see I see days. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where can you find the beluga? You can find them at Octuba. You find the beluga at Octuba. Don't you know? Hello. Yep. Again. I need to get some new ones. Yeah, we got a ton of candles in our house. Our, we have like a we have one cabinet that has all of our candles in it. It's like it's it's full. It's like we we have to we'll have to make room. I have like the scentsy. We have the scent. Yeah, it's true. We do have the scentsy thing. I don't know. We love candles and stuff. <laughs> we have a lot. It's because of our mom. Our mom always had candles when we were growing up, and our house always smelled so good. And uh, and now that we're adults, we can't stand when our house smells bad. <laughs> so it's like anytime like we remotely get a bad smell in our house, we immediately light a candle. Just caught a 79 pound flathead cabbage. My goodness gracious, that's a good size flathead. Tanner Kenyon, what did you miss? Oh man, so much. So much. We uh you've you've missed about 700 pounds of pike. Come on, he is at 17 feet. Get him in. Get him in. 18 pounds there. Go fast, T-Nil. Run fast. Your friend surprised you with an aquarium. Yeah, it's awesome. I I saw that. That's that is really cool.
Jonte's got to go. Hey, take care, Jonte. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We're at 410 pounds. We have 30 pounds to go before we have an entire keep net of pike, which is great. You cried so hard you puked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tanner, can you remember you? I do. I feel like I do remember you, man. Your name just, it just rolls off the tongue. And I, I feel like I remember. <laughs> Who's just that? Up? Tyler Upton, you're my favorite fishing planet YouTuber so far. So far. Hey, there's no reason to keep looking, bro. It's all right here. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. So no reason to look for anyone else. <laughs> JK. I'm sure there's some decent people out there. All right, 418 at the moment. God, what is wrong with my toe? It hurts so bad. <laughs> Going coyote hunting on New Year's. That's a is that is that like a tradition that you do like on on New Year's day you go shoot coyotes or something it's, it's a weird tradition but i'm not going to argue about it. cancer is back right on Corey says hi by the way well good deal good deal good deal yo hubs just caught 60 pound unique permit dude that's freaking nice bro it's freaking nice bro do i know flinter who plays all the wild or h cow i don't know do you do you know them all right now we wait we're like one fish away Bradley DeLong is playing Fishing Planet right now. Right on, man. That's cool. Oh, we had a ding. We had a ding. You're the best. Oh, thank you. Trying to get a husky, but it gets really hot in Alabama and it will take a lot of work. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Bjorn doesn't stay outside in the summer. He just stays inside. So if that tells you what he thinks about the heat, uh, then that's, that's what you should know. He doesn't go outside. <laughs> he'll go outside to like, you know, do his business and maybe bark at someone. Then he'll just come back inside. He says, uh, the air conditioning is the life for me. Do you want to hunt in real life again? Um, eh, every once in a while, I think it could be fun to, uh, cook up some, uh, cook up some meals with some, uh, some, some wild game could be kind of fun. Um, I think I would just go out and, and, and shoot a shoot a doe or something like that though. I don't think I would go after a buck. Um, I guess if I was hunting a buck, I I would probably get a an either either sex tag, I guess, and then just shoot whatever shows up. Um because I I, I don't really care. I'm just want I just want to get get something for the freezer, I guess. But I guess if a buck walked in front of me, then I would go for it. Golly, come on. We just needed a 12 pound fish and we got a five pounder. Um, but I, I also feel like uh, hunting some birds would be fun. Um, could be fun anyway. You know, it's, just, it's kind of fun to go out with a bunch of friends and, uh, and hunt. Um, not so much. I, I do think, I think I would enjoy getting a deer more than a bird, though. I don't know. I don't know. I think your PB for pike is 17 pounds. Okay, I got you. 
We had a ding. We had this is not a drill. We had a ding. Very confused. Need help. Don't know how to get a 0.05 liter. Is there one in the store? Where do you catch tarpon at Blue Crap? Uh, I caught it. I would catch tarpon at the very end uh, near where the wrecked ship is. And on the on like, if you're looking at the ship, then fish on the right side is where I would catch lots of tarpon. But uh, I'm sure you can catch them all over the place. Do I remember you? I don't know. You've never had sushi? What? Uh, do you like fish? If not, then uh, you won't like sushi. But uh, if you like fish and you like cool, then uh, you'll like sushi. I got my niece a catfish rod and taking her to the uh, Red River for New Year's. Hey, right on, John D. That's awesome. That is a cool thing to do. I took my nieces out. Um, oh, golly. This past summer, and we caught a bazillion bluegill. It was a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, I think it was great. I think we had a great time. I hope they had a great time. They didn't want to touch the fish. Uh, they liked playing with the worms, which is strange that they wouldn't want to touch a fish, but they're t they're totally fine playing with worms. But uh, that's that's okay. <laughs> oh, come on, Kieran. If you go to Florida, don't go to the Super Buffet for sushi because it was really bad the last time I had it, and it was my first time. Who eats raw oysters said they were bad, so I guess they were bad. <laughs> If I ever go to Florida, I will make sure the entire state of Florida, I will not go to any super buffets ever. Ever. All right. I think our ruck is our ruck has ran out. Um, yeah, our luck has ran out, everyone. I think we're going to have to I think that was it. I don't think we're going to be able to catch anything else. Let's I don't even know why I'm reeling these in. Whatever. We're gonna move on to somewhere else now. Let's see. What did we end up catching? We caught $49,000 worth of fish, which comes to a grand total of $93,000 worth of fish in the past hour and a half. Not too shabby. You ate bad sushi once? Oh God. You're so chill, man, bro. That's my goal in life. I just want to be chill. Now shut up. <laughs> JK. Okay, here we go. We're buying a $8,000 trip to San Joaquin, I guess. Though, uh, October did sound pretty fun. Let's, uh, let's fish for some surgeon for a little while, and then we'll, maybe we'll go to October later. Who knows? Okay, so we have our rods here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see, what size of hook should we use for sturgeon? I got a number four on that and a number six on that. Is that good or bad? Got another 20 pound bass, bro. Bro. Okay, um... <sighs> boo! Boo! Number four! That's what I was thinking. I was just about to say, number four ought. That, that sounds good to me. Let's do that. Then you beat me to it. <laughs> All right. All righty, bro. What are we thinking? Are we thinking spawn sacks? <laughs> A 
let's try let's try spawn sex how about how about that how about that how about we try sp spawn sex huh does that sound good to everyone so I have the heavy chaser here, which is 52 pounds. And then we have the cat boxer here, which is 47.4. I think they should both be just fine. I don't think I have any other heavy rods. I, I mean, I technically do, but I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Let's put on, let's see, what do we got that's close to, oh, here we go. Put on the ambusher. The ambusher. 44, what? Why did we have 50? Do 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 Okie dokie. We're looking good now, by golly. Uh huh. This is my go to small rod. I freaking love this thing. Freaking love this thing, bro. Can't, you can't even, you can't, can't stop me from using this thing. That's how much I love it. I love it that much. People ask me, they go, will you stop using that? I go, no, you can't make me. I love this rod. All right, we got spawn sacks. We're good. I stayed over in Florida the last time we were there and I went fishing behind the house. The only thing that I caught was an alligator. <laughs> good carp to, f yeah, I know. We've fished for carp before. Come on, man. Keep up winning big kids. Come on, bro. We already did that. What caliber did you use when hunting deer? We used 25 out 6, man. Imagine trail cameras. I just can't. I don't I don't know how they they would be they wouldn't be useful. Luca Langoni. Langoni? Langoni. Been a while since I've least seen your live stream. Well, hey, no big deal, man. I'm glad you're here. I can give you and that is to catch fish you need bait. I learned that from the struggle of life. That is childhood. Hey, I understand. I understand better than most, bro. All right, we're going to Joaquin Delta. I think we have everything we need anyway. I got my two sturgeon rods, and we're gonna we're just we're just gonna go do what we do, man. And what is it that we do? We catch fish, bro. We, we catch fish. We go find the fish, and then we catch them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you had. The choice of bass boat and the pound full of bass, which on would you pick? Either the bass boat or, oh, so a bass boat or a pond full of bass. Oh, that's a good question, Anitra. I'm not sure. You got an Xbox for Christmas and a paintball gun right on, man. And Dialer Cole. Diller? Diller Cole or Dialer Cole? I forgot, uh, dang it. Got to switch to, uh, I guess we already have. We're already in the friend's room. That's cool. We're gonna go catch, uh, gonna go catch us some sturgeon now, okay? Okay, everybody? <laughs> Trail cams in the Hunter Call of the Wild would make diamond hunting so much easier. Yeah? Yeah? 
Ow. Gosh dang it, BZ Hub is the best. Hello, Bolstridge. We're back. We have made it back, man. Here we are. How am I doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Cole. All right, here we are, everyone. We have made it. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. All right, we're moving forward time to nighttime, and now we're just going to toss her out anywhere she goes. Right there. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is how to do it anyway. We will see. I love you so freaking much, Bo. Bo. Bo, I love you. I love you, Bo. <laughs> thank you, Rodeo Riger. <laughs> I'm T. I'm thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Call me Evo. Well, why isn't your name Evo then, huh? I'm just reading. I'm like Ron Burgundy, man. I just read what's in front of me. Don't try and mess me up by putting your name as Dialer Cole and then telling me it's Evo. You would choose the pond full of bass? See, I would say that, but uh, a boat allows you to uh, go wherever you want. You know? You could go to a lake in Minnesota, or you could go to a lake in California, or you could go... You know, oh god, I I go to a lake in Texas. Now you've fished at three different places while that dude with a pond full of bass is still sitting at his pond catching bass. It's like bass are cool, man, but uh get out and explore, you know. Don't get so caught up on your on your your bass. Go catch some other stuff. You know, your wall is going to look really bland if you just have a bunch of mounted bass on it. What do we get here? A little striped bass. A little striped bass. That'll work, though. That will work. Winnipeg Kid's going to go play some Fishing Planet. Bro, I hate that game. I hate Fishing Planet. You can't make me play that. Freaking, I freaking hate that, bro. You are so on positive rank. I don't know. I love you. You are the best. Evo, I love you. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hey, a fish. Have you ever bow hunted or bow fished? I, I refuse to bow fish. I think bow fishing is dumb. <laughs> no, I don't have anything against bow fishing. I have, I have a, I have a, I have things against bow fishing people. Uh, they don't understand the difference between common carp and silver carp, so they just shoot whatever they see. And I'm trying to catch common carp with my rod, and then I see them shooting one and throwing it on the bank, and I'm like, "Yo, what are you doing, dummy? I'm trying to catch that, and you're over here." Shooting it with the bow, stupid. Golly, telling you what, man. So, um, so yeah, so I have a thing against bow fishing people, not so much bow fishing. <laughs> I think if you're bow fishing for silver carp or big head or something like that, that's cool. But if you shoot one of my common carps, I swear to god, bro, I'll deck you in the face, I'll steal your bow, and I'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not that's not true. That's not true. By the way, like your mentate Bradley. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Wiper are cooler the largemouth bass in my opinion. Well, wiper are pretty neat. That's that's true. What's the biggest striped bass you've caught? 
I don't know. Are we talking? Are we gonna? Are we gonna add in the monster? Because we've caught the uh, we've caught the monster stride bass, and he was uh, 65 pounds. But I guess if we're gonna go down, our biggest one is 43.380. I guess that's him right there. 43 pounds stride bass. Not too shabby, I suppose. And then caught a huge blue cat. Caught a huge blue cat. Dang, bro. That's cool. I want to catch a big blue cat. If I buy five days in Fishing Planet or area to go fishing, can I leave and go back for free? I... Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I th I'm not... I feel like maybe. Maybe. Licenses and pond passes. If you had a license and a pond pass, then yes, you could go there and go somewhere else for free. Oh man, we just got him right at the end there. Quick little 700 bucks. Give me that money. So, why aren't the sturgeon biting? I'm so confused. Isn't this how you catch them? Isn't this how we do it? I'm not, I don't, what am, what am I doing wrong, huh? They're supposed to be, we're supposed to be farming sturgeon right now. We haven't caught a single one. This is why I don't like farming for surgeon. <laughs> Fine, we're leaving. I don't even want to fish here anymore. I'm going back to my carp spot. I always caught carp uh, and sturgeon at the same island. I don't know why anyone ever comes here. This place is dumb. I'm leaving. Bye, Bolstridge. Take care, man. See you later, alligator. After a while, you know the rest. I'm playing Fishing Planet for like three weeks, man. I am level five. Don't know how to get to a bigger level. Bro, you just gotta catch lots of fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, work your way up. Catch lots of bass and uh, work your way up to mud water or a rocky lake. Catch trout or some uh some pickerel and then uh move on to catching uh, a walleye at emerald lake blue cats fight hard as crap oh yeah i bet so the watcher hello megan how are you jump time c-o-t-y Two hours, bro. Two hours. This is where all the carps sleep here. They all sleep right here. Might come back. Okay, bye bye. Bye, bonfire. But I'm trying to stay positive. How you doing? Is this what you do for work or what? No, it's not. Nope, it's not. I'm a designer. I design things for people. What is the time in my country? It's 9.30 at night. 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Oh, yeah, bro. Woo, we made it. Take that. What do you think there, Frankenfish? I think that's great. Good deal. Glad you're happy. That's what we need to add to our videos. That's what we've been missing. We've been missing an animated fish head on a kayak. Yes, that's what I'm going to add to the videos from now on. All right, let's finally catch our darn sturgeon. This is where I always caught sturgeon anyway. It's three in the morning where you are. Goodness gracious, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's three in the morning. Go to bed. Megan has a problem. What is your problem, Megan? That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is always where I caught my fish. I don't know why everyone thinks that that spot over there is like the bee's knees or something. There are no knees and no bees over there.
<laughs> well, thanks, man. I met a guy and I like that guy. Oh God, no. Well, then you've got to say, you got to say, you got to uh, play it out slow, you know? Say, oh, I had a great time with you. I'll see you tomorrow. You know? You're staying up all night grinding sturgeon right on Jackson. If you had to choose between me and another fishing planet YouTuber, you would choose me. Thanks, man. <laughs> what a compliment. I love it. <laughs> Bro, if I had to choose between eating ice cream and eating a dirt road, I would totally eat ice cream. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I totally got I got you, bro. One time I was fishing with a friend and hooked up with a 40 pound blue cat and asked my friend to grab it and land it, but he didn't want to put his hand in its mouth, so he grabbed the line instead. It didn't work. Bro, how did you know it was a 40 pound blue cat then, huh? Huh, you got a little weight scale on your, your reel then, huh? Oh, I think you're so clever. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have heard that. It's crazy because you like you hear like, oh, if you grab the line, it's really bad and it can break off and stuff like that. But I swear I watch so many videos and the guides just grab the line and then they'll grab the fish. And it's just like I have heard so many bad things about grabbing the line. Yet here you are a guide grabbing the line. So I must not know everything. I don't know everything. Oh, no. Cold phase is back, right on, man. Tell you what, we aren't catching the bass here, that's for sure. We aren't catching the bass here. Hey, bass, where are you? Do some design videos, bro. I, I thought about doing a design video. I was uh, I was thinking about doing some of those like uh, instructional art videos for like kids. I was gonna make another channel and do instructional art videos for kids. You know, so you can, I don't know, draw the, draw the Mandalorian or draw a Minecraft character or something like that. And then they kind of just follow along and do that. I thought that sounded kind of fun. So if you're ever wondering what my second channel is going to be, now you know, it's going to be an art channel for children <laughs> eating candy at like 10 30 at night oh bro bro no what are you doing where are your parents your parents are gonna be so upset hunter crane hello hello bro buzz bait is not doing good here it's just it's just not doing oh i know why it's because it does this is the wrong rod because we don't have the glow in the dark shad on that one what are we thinking bro what are we thinking we're so stupid we're so dumb bro here we go here we go this half hour thank you for that hey right on dollar cole glad you had a good time that is what it's all about, man. Obey Durka. Oh my gosh, I'm late. Sorry. Hey, that's okay. That is okay. It was braided line, so it didn't have any stretch. I got you. 20 pound braided line. <gasps> What is with this freaking sturgeon fishing, huh? What is up with this, huh? We're about to, we're about to, um, about to run out of good fishing time here. Why aren't we catching any sturgeon? 
This is why I don't go sturgeon farming. If you don't catch any sturgeon, you lose out on a lot of money. It's ridiculous. What is the best way to get money on the Dewara map? I I don't know. <laughs> Zach Kanzler. I just go shoot things, man. Get shoot animals make money. It's as easy as that. It's a simple equation. Animals equal money. If you shoot more animals, you make more money. Just do that. Set up a go to a lake or somewhere that's wide and open where you see lots of animals and, and set up a, uh, a tripod there or something. That usually works for pretty much every map. It's, it's pretty... It's honestly a pretty simple game. I just don't... Just don't have enough time to play. <laughs> like I said, I have about eight hours to play a week. And six of those hours are in the streams, so... Jackson Zellinger, bro, that's what we were doing though. We weren't catching anything there. We stood there for like two hours. Not really, but it felt like it. Did we catch a largemouth? Got a largemouth bass. Why does this place suck so bad? Uh, Razors, it's his first live stream. Well, right on, man. Glad you're here. We aren't catching any darn sturgeon, that's for sure. At the store, that's a lot of catfish bait, John D. What were you thinking, buying $200 worth of catfish bait to begin with? Huh? What were you thinking? Have you been to California? Yeah. Yeah, we've been here. Where have you been, Obey Durka? Come on, follow along with the BZ Hub videos, then you'll know where we've been. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Golly. Ugh. You know, you know I make videos, huh? You know I make videos. I put out everywhere I fished. You you can follow along. Follow along. Now this is always where I've caught sturgeon. Always. Always. I've tried to catch sturgeon over there. I just never can. I just, every time I try to catch sturgeon over there, I don't catch any sturgeon. And so here I am, going back and forth between these two spots, because I'm not catching sturgeon over there, and I'm not catching sturgeon over here where I usually catch them. So here we are. Spent sixteen thousand dollars to come to california we aren't catching anything so this is really fun this is why we made we fished for an hour and a half and made how much money ninety four thousand dollars catching pike so simple here we are going back and forth trying to catch sturgeon what is the deal You've obviously not watched my videos, Jackson. I have showed you where to catch them. <laughs> have you ever thought of playing the Fisherman Planet? No. You have to pay for that game. Fishing Planet's free. Why would you pay? Why would you pay money to play the same game? That's just silly. I have spent $3,000 on Catfish Bay before. That's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous. You, you know how much stuff you could get for $3,000? And you spent it on Catfish Bay. That's ridiculous. Like, ridiculous in a stupid way. What were you thinking? <laughs> Imogen Finlay. Hello, hello. Aw, oh, well, thanks, Anitra. Appreciate it. Where are you fishing, huh? 
Where are you catching these sturgeon? You're catching them right here, huh? All right, I'm stealing your spot. I'm gonna catch sturgeon before you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Take that. Oh, oh, beeping, beeping, beeping. Got him. Get over here. This is what I was telling you guys. If we just go to the other island and scare them back this direction, then we'll catch a sturgeon that gives us the same amount of XP as the pike we were catching back in St. Croix. And everyone loves that. I was thinking I'm a fishing guide at Rev River. Pfft, bro, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, huh? You trying to like, you trying to get more, more, more bait so that you can like continue doing what supplies you with money? What, a, what is basically your livelihood? Is that what you're trying to tell me, John D? Huh? You're trying to tell me that you're trying to get bait so that you can continue making money to supply your family with food and like pay for your housing and stuff like that? Just ridiculous. Rid don't, don't even, don't even do this to me, huh? What are you, what are you trying to spew at my direction? No, sounds good. So sounds good in that case. I mean, if I told you that I spent $4,000 on my computer, you would understand because I, you know, this is this is how I make money as well. So, three thousand dollars on catfish bait, four thousand dollars on a computer. You know, I can understand the similarities. People, you know, if they had a choice between a computer or catfish bait, you know, most of them would probably choose catfish bait. So, it makes sense. 400 on bass up and it was on my birthday my parents thought I was stupid <laughs> hey that's all right 630 XP on this white sturgeon here we're out of bait don't you tell me I'm out of bait I got more bait bro yeah here we go we're good right yeah we're good we're good bro Class 22 feet in front of you and clip the line. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how to do this, bro. Listen, I'm the pro. I'm the pro because I know how to do this. So look at that. See how I just cast it out and immediately caught a fish? That's because I know how to do this. So there you go. And boom, caught the fish. And so there you go. Don't need no help because I'm the best. The best there ever was. Anything you can do, I can do. Better, Bolstridge, you invisible man. There you are, I found you. Catch four in a minute. Rookie numbers, Jackson, rookie numbers. Try to get better, try to get like me, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh, one of these days, one of these days you'll get there. Ooh, that doesn't sound good at all. Is there a, le a way to level up quickly at 29? Absolutely. Catch lots of bass. Work your way up to uh, fishing at St. Croix. Try to get some uh, some 22 pound rods, uh, match rods for St. Croix. So just keep fishing for bass all the while trying to make money to buy 22 pound match rods for St. Croix. It's a good way to do it.
You shot a 12 point and there's no blood. Thayla, no. No. You know, that that reminds me. You know, did you actually shoot it then? Because usually when there's no blood, that's that's a sign that didn't shoot it. <laughs> next time though, next time, just like what Eminem said, next time there won't be no next time. I apologize. All I know is lies or something like that. What do you suggest for white moose? Oh, bro, get the best rod that you can get. Best spinning rod that you can get and uh, and throw on like, throw on like um, uh, a red tiger medium, medium, um, medium spoon or whatever it's called. Do that. Do that. Get one of those. Got him. Long time no see, Jaden's plays. Thanks, man. Long time no see indeed, I'd say. We got a sturgeon. We got a sturgeon. Jackson Zolinger is in the exact same spot as me. <gasps> Where are you, Jackson? Jackson's hiding. Are you over here? No. Oh, beeping. I hear you. I hear you beeping. Got him. Get over here. Get over here. What's the best pull for bass? Bro. Uh, just depends. Largemouth bass? Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, the best pull is, it's just, it's a difficult thing to say because, uh, obviously you want something that allows you to catch a unique um, but you also want to get good money and experience from, uh, the other smaller fish. So maybe, uh, try to get something around like 14 pounds, 12, 14 pounds would be a pretty good largemouth bass rod and reel. Hey, I see you making, making noises down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you. How long Bo been live for? English hashtag English um I don't know since like 7 30 or so That's a better spot right there. That's where I'm talking about. You were all wondering why why did he throw right there? Well, psh, I don't know either, you know. Uh this is where I meant to throw right here. So now we're good. What's your favorite fish to catch for fun? Um probably tarpon, but I can't fish for tarpon at the moment, so So here I am doing other stuff. <laughs> Baltimore English. I tell you what. Do it. Just a second. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some snacks. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You, if a fish bites, catch it, okay?
All right. The candle gives you anxiety. Is the Tiber River any good? I don't know, man. I've never fished the Tiber River. Honestly. I love this game. I love this game too. Patrick Chambers. I have a big fish on the line. Oh man. Oh man. Jackson Robert Rogers. Hey, and late Merry Christmas. Oh God, I switched like oh god. Oh god. Well, he just like jumped up onto the bank there. Darren, no. Look at him go. He says, I'm a beluga. I can do what I want. I'm like, no, bro, you're not. You're not a beluga. So get back here. Alex Chu, nice fish. Hey, thanks, Alex. I'd like to have some fun, you know. What kind of keyboard do I have? I have a G910 Logitech keyboard. Smash bot. Jumping back in at the end. Yeah, buddy. not a catfish so it's not good that's a good answer John D <laughs> that's a good answer so John D what what kind of fish what kind of fish do you catch on the Red River where is the Red River anyway tell, tell me about it there we go water for him <laughs> what is our PB for a white sturgeon let's see it is 54 pounds. Okay. And we caught it on a crawfish. Got uh, 10 ducks on Christmas Eve with the boys. Well, right on, man. That's awesome. Good work. Get them. Get them. Cooper Metcalf has got a huge fish on. Oh, man. Make sure to like the stream off. Oh, thanks, Obey. I always forget to ask that. <laughs> I just get caught up in the moment. I just enjoy it. Did it work, Cap? Did it work? Get in here, Sturgeon.
Oh no! Got on the they got on the map and forgot the honey and bread. Gosh darn it! What if you caught a hundred pound bass in this game? That would be insane. Insanity, Initra. What's your biggest bonefish? I don't know. What's your biggest bonefish, Cooper? Right on, Jackson. Yeah, I'm mukbanging. Hey, you got it. Nice. Yeah. Zachary really wanted this game. I guess he's using this here. What am I eating? I'm eating. Cheese. It. White cheddar cheeses. Cheese it. It's the dividing line between Texas and Oklahoma. Oh, okay, cool. Catfish, bass, gator, gar, stuff like that. That's awesome. That's really cool, John D. Uh, I think we need to change the time. How did I get an eight pound trophy walleye? I think I caught it in uh, St. Croix. Which I still haven't caught a uh, unique walleye, so. I don't know. No, John D, not John B. I mean, yes, John B frequently comes to my streams. He's just, he's so impressed with my videos. You know, John B. Classic, classic John B. He's such a fatty. I don't even have too many left. Okay. Is that good? You good? You full? Floofy boy. Hey, hey, floofy boy. Oh, big exhale. Cheese it. Yes. Yes, indeed. That's exactly right. Justin Hernandez, hello, hello. Got ourselves another sturgeon here. Ooh. Watch anime, so I missed the stream, but I am here now. L Leland and Kendall, hey, right on, man. What were you watching? You have your bread and honey now, good deal. <laughs> yeah, that, that seemed like a big thing. As far As far as I know. TJ Green caught a 10 pound bass this morning off of a brush pile. Dang, bro. Killing it. You should clip your lines at 15 feet. That way you can just reel them in. Or, or, Andrew, or I just play the game, you know? How's that? How's that sound? You know, we just, we just play it how we want because that's how we have fun. <laughs> I like watching your Call of the Wild vids, and I think you're a very interesting guy to listen to. Oh, well thanks, Samuel. I hope. <laughs> what? Oh. oh my. You want this last one? Can I have part of it? I'll have part of it, and you have the other part, okay? Uh, 
You have the last part. Oh, all right. Yeah, is that good? Was that good? Was that dummy? We're out of drink and we're out of food here. That's not good. Hunter x Hunter. Okay. God, I was like, I was just looking, man. I got it, though. What are the fireworks for? The fireworks, uh, well, for one, can help you catch fish um, during some holiday events, like the 4th of July and uh, during the the holiday season, Christmas and whatnot. So that's that helps. This one's 37.737 pounds. Dang, bro. That's right, Andrew. <laughs> sometimes we do it right, sometimes we do it horribly wrong, and that's what life is about. So just enjoy what you do. <laughs> Terraria or Minecraft? I've always enjoyed Minecraft more, Tyler. I don't know. I, I don't. I mean, I understand that some people like uh, some people like all the bosses and stuff in Terraria, and some of the you know the the stuff has a little bit more detail and and stuff like that. So I can understand that. When I get to level 50 in this game, I'm going to buy a bass boat and my keyboard is a ducky one too many. <laughs> that was such a combination of things. But when I, when I get to level 50 in Fishing Planet, I am going to buy a bass boat and I have this type of keyboard. <laughs> That's awesome, Antir. Nitra, golly. Unite! What kind of dog is Bjorn? Bjorn is a Norwegian elk count. He's a moose hunting dog. Anyone else in the stream agree with BZ Hub is the best username? Oh my gosh. So many people. Everyone chatting right now says yes. Everyone is saying yes right now. It's crazy. On my PC while I have your stream up on your second monitor. Hey, right on, Leland. That's awesome. Terrariar. I'm so excited to get my elk back from the butcher. Hey, right on, Garrett. That is that is going to be pretty cool. I agree. Your lotion is frozen. Dang. Well, we caught one surgeon, and that was it, evidently. So that's cool. That's that's cool, bro. I was thinking maybe just one more would be kind of neat, but you know, it's like whatever. It's cool. Like that's fine. Just one's cool. One's cool as well. Maybe if we could catch like two sturgeon before we switch to the next day, that could, that could be kind of cool. But you know, whatever, it's, it's whatever. Don't want to like, I don't want to pressure anyone. I guess. Bite! We gotta bite. When you fish, you put on my streams. Oh, thanks, man. There we go, forty-seven pounder. That is what I'm talking. Well, we're almost level forty-nine. Almost level 49. Cast to 44 feet, you will get a giant white sturgeon. I don't I don't know where 44 feet is. Right here. There. Boom. Oh no. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's at 44 feet exactly. It's up, it's lame -o. <laughs> You didn't know elk lived in Norway. Uh, 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 that's because 
the Norwegian word for for moose is elm. So they're moose hunting dog. To a certain Kansas resident. <laughs> I'm just some some elk pepperoni? Some elkaroni? That kind of just sounds like macaroni. 100% BZ Hub is the worst. And let me say it again. BZ Hub is the worst. Definitely haven't spent lots of money to support him because I enjoy him. Exactly. I freaking hate the, his guts. I wish. Oh! That's a fish. I see him down there. I see just his nose right now. There he is. There he is right there. Catch him. Bolstridge. What are you doing? Bolstridge. Catch the fish. All right, I'm tired of waiting. Let's go to the next day. The buzz and chat, that's true. We should we could do that. Fishing can be boring and fun in Missouri. I can understand. You've got a lot more places to fish for trout in Missouri, I feel. We've got a few. Like, they have some stocked ponds and stuff like that. Or not really ponds, per se, but... I mean, basically, yeah. But, yeah. How close are you to level 50? We're about two levels away. Tech I mean, we're, we're basically one level away. There we go. Oh boy, we got a fish on. We got a fish up on up on the deck now. Here we go. How long is the stream going for? I don't know. I just thought we would just thought we'd play <laughs> for funsies. <laughs> Didn't really have didn't really have a, a time down. I have no idea. Hmm. You haven't lived in a BZ up sweater. No, why would you do that? Hey BZ, my brother's a big fan. I wanted to say hi for him. Lucas Jucket will say hi. Say hi for me, Lucas. I would I would appreciate that, man. Missouri more of a catfishing place. Yeah, yeah. I like catfish too. I'm a catfishing catfishing bro. Go to his YouTube and say Spencer's lady sent me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, you think red is us? Huh? You think so? Is an Eastern Alberta bull elk hunt the species they get huge up there. Oh, dang That would be crazy. I agree What is this about huh? Why you sweat? Why are you sweaty? I miss I miss part of it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe. Appreciate it. Here we go. Here we go. Me and my dad caught an 87 pound blue cat in the Mission River. Well, that's awesome. That is a big blue cat for sure, Jackson. I don't know why I'm throwing this back out here because it seems like we catch one sturgeon and that's about it. But here I am, doing it again. I have 21,000 in my keep net. Should I go to the next day? If you want to. I don't I don't know, man. Is your keep net full? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything about your keep net. It's been fun. Have a good night. Hey, Anitra, take care. Really appreciated being here. John Coletti, how is life? Life is good. Life is good. 
Um, I don't know. Holiday season is over, and now we're we're getting ready for the next year, man. Getting ready for the next year, bro. They are called Manitoban Elk. Dang. Bought a gold pack. I regret it massively. Ah. Why do you regret it? Where is your fishing buddy? He's down there on the floor, really bored. He says, I want to go back out, out to the living room. I thought you were going to keep giving me food, but you're not. <laughs> Samuel Harris. Just caught a 51 pound trophy blue cat on a crankbait. Hey, right on, Chris Sutton. <laughs> Whatever works, man. He gives you the ultimate luck. I agree. I completely agree. Fish with a buzz bait. Oh God. We need to move forward to the next day. We're not catching any fish. We move forward to the next hour, I guess. The game kept crashing, so you can't play. Oh, well that would be, that would be annoying for sure. I'm using the buzz bait, okay? I am haunted. Oh god. Don't don't tell me that. We oh, we got a fish? I right, got a fish. There we go. Not having any luck catching carp right now. No. When are you gonna add me? I don't have any friend requests, John. If you sent me a friend request, then I probably already accepted it. Usually pretty quick about uh, accepting friend requests. Off to bed. Okay, cat. <laughs> well, take care. Have a good night's sleep. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully. You as well. Moving forward in time is my favorite thing. What lake are we at? We're at San Joaquin, bro. Peace, gamers. See you later, Jackson Rogers. Yo. Yo, catch a fish. Catch a fish, bro. Oh! You beeping? Is nighttime fishing for carp good? Uh, I don't know. I've never really tried, I don't think. Don't think, anyway. I usually always fish for them during the day. Did we get it? Or are we off by just a little bit? Oh my god, we have to catch one more fish. Alright. Do you have any tips for level 12? I absolutely do. Catch fish until you can go to Emerald Lake and then catch walleye.
But you gotta have friends. <laughs> That's exactly. Nibbles. We got nibbles. I just had to reset all. I am dumb. No, you're not. Don't you say that. Do I want to play a game? I'm already playing a game, Patrick. You silly goober. Absolutely. I already said it. defeated TTV. Pay attention. They pay attention to what I'm saying. How much money to get you to restart? Restart what? Okay, we had nibbles and now we're not having nibbles. What's the deal? What's the best way to make money at level 10 to 11? Uh, I don't, I don't. Spotted bass or pickerel maybe? Is it, isn't Emerald Lake level 12? I want to say it's level 12. Once you get Emerald Lake, just fish for walleye. Emerald Lake is a game changer. You will make so much more money than you are ever used to making. It's ridiculous. There we go! Level 49! Take that, fishing planet! We are so close. So close to 50. I can smell the shellfish, Papa Boilies. I can also smell the mulberry, Papa Pellets. And giant octopus supreme. I smell it. I smell it all. It's right there in front of me, ready for the taking. Golly. Now I just need to go an entire level. 49 to 50, let go. Emerald Lake is level f eight. Well, there you go. Go to level a go to go to level eight. Emerald Lake then. Boom shakalaka. Tyler Upton. John Kaleida, you're the best YouTuber I've ever been subbed to and watched. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. You didn't hear anything. What? Everyone's saying it, man. Go to Emerald Lake. Emerald Lake is the place to go. Or you can just follow along with my beginner series and do what I do. Because in my beginner series, I went to Emerald Lake and made a lot of money. So if you were watching the beginner series, you would have known that. Come on. Come on. Watch the beginner series. What are you thinking? Do you want your life to remain terrible? I thought people like sometimes wanted their lives to get better, but I guess not. So, you know, if you just enjoy your life being without the BZ Hub beginner series, then just continue living life that way, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to make people's lives better. That's all I'm trying to do. It's just, you know, so hard sometimes. But watching with popcorn and soda. <laughs> the Shad had a red bead. Yeah, man. Yeah, the Shad had a red bead. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've been saying, brah. When will you stream tomorrow? Bro, 
same time I always stream, 7.30. Oh, we were a pound away from our PB. Gosh dang it. 7.30 to 9.30, man. PM Central. Let me add that in. What lure should you use? For what? You gotta give me more specifics, bro. Will you stream tomorrow? Well, it's Monday, isn't it? And if you've seen our schedule, we stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Well, steelhead, it looks like. Get over here, you stinking steelhead. Okay, where I'm from, it's 4.30 in the morning. Dang, bro. Starting the day off early, I like it. How's your game so smooth? Yeah, I have a pretty decent computer, I guess. Bet this is a pretty normal size steelhead too. Just using kind of a weak reel and rod. Yeah, 9.3 pound steelhead, $765, thank you. Beasy up is the best. Trout master, what? We just got X-Series barbless hooks, bro. Let's catch certain number of trout. Boom, we got it. Who got it? Us, that's right. You said fish for walleye, now you are. Well, good. Glad to see that someone is listening to me. Golly, golly. For goodness sakes, what my grandma would always say. For goodness sakes. You like this game, but it's kind of grindy, not gonna lie. Well, that's, that's fishing for you. If you want the big fish, sometimes you gotta be a little grindy. Sometimes if you want to eat the grape nuts, you gotta grind them in your teeth or something like that. I don't know. So what lure? Narrow spoon. Come on, man. You go to here. You go to fish species. You click on the fish. It says preferred baits. It says preferred lures. Come on. Use your brain. Your thinkerton. Use the little thinker inside your head. And it'll tell you what to use. And then you just try one of them. Lucky for you, though. I'm super big brain, so I'll just tell you to use a purple narrow spoon, and if you don't got that, then just try a different narrow spoon. What's well, a good keep nap? Biggest one you can get, man. Biggest one you can buy. Looking at fish too big for me to reel in, but like it just pulls my rod into the water or snaps my rod. Yes. The answer is yes, Megan. <laughs> you have partially baked noodles for arms. Well, that's not too bad, I guess, right? What kind of noodles, though? Are they egg, egg noodles or... I am grinding for Moose Lake, and I am level 21. Well, have you already completed all the missions and stuff? Usually, I have a tough time just completing the missions.
Ramen noodles. Good ramen noodles or bad ramen noodles? I wonder what this fish will be. Oh, another sturgeon. Surprising. Anybody, you are getting dragged around White Moose Lake by a trout. You think, yeah. Yeah, we actually had a video where we, uh, we, we went across the entire lake from one end to the other just by catching fish and allowing them to pull us. That was fun. I agree. You're grinding on Everglades right now. You're grinding on Everglades. I think you mean that you're fishing on Everglades and having a lot of fun. And that, that sounds, that, uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I agree. Here we go. Another Fisherton. Come here, Fisherton. The last stream because I was skiing. Hey, Connor, that's a good reason to miss the stream, man. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it one bit, man. Spinnerbait fishing for pike. Hey, right on, man. That's a good one. 39 pounds. How many pounds? 39. That's the answer. Why you cast so close to the shore? Because that's where all the bubbles are happening. Right there. Yeah, see? Bubble. I'm waiting. There's usually really big ones, but they're not happening. Go. I just told them that they happen, and now you're not going. I don't choose where the bubbles happen, but they happen, bro. Let's go forward an hour. I'll show you. I'll get the bubbles going, man. Go, bubbles, go. Okay, well, just take my word for it. Usually there's bubbles right there. Love listening to me talk when grinding sturgeon. BZ Hub is the best. That is a uh, that is a frequently asked question, man, for sure. Um, I'm actually going to have a video about it, so just just hold on for now. And I'm gonna have a frequently asked question video number four. And I'm going to answer 10 frequently asked questions. And that will answer a lot of people's questions. Did I know that a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance? No, I don't think I did. It's good. You ever fished in real life? I don't know, JSAF. Maybe you should check out the video I posted today, man. Or just like any of the fishing videos on my channel bro what are you doing huh just checking out the stream just checking out the stream asking people questions huh 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 didn't you didn't think oh i wonder if this guy has in real life fishing videos maybe i should check his youtube channel where he has videos of him catching fish <laughs> no i'm kidding but yeah definitely do it he has a video in that yeah yeah, I do. Is there someone named BZHub is best or something? Because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, they're in the game. 
You can't see them because my video is in the wrong, it, it's in the way. It's, it's in the way, you see. See it up there? See it right there? Right here. Right there. There. Come on, fish. Golly. You were worried you had so it was someone you had blocked. Yeah, I know. Thought the kayak was some sort of mat. Oh, I read through the wrong. Darn it. Hey! Calm down. I didn't even have the other rod out yet. Jeez Louises. Come on, fish. Bubbles! I told you there were bubbles. See, not crazy. There are bubbles here. There's more bubbles. See, 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 I told you. I told you. Lots of bubbles right there. What what should be the name of our of our fish? I guess I mean technically he's Frankenfish. But we need to have another name for him. Herbert or something. Fenton, Fenton, Herbert, Higgins, Higgins? Got to be something. Hype! Hello, Hype! What is up with my darn keyboard right now? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. We have to say it like uh, the kid in Big Daddy. The bubbles are over there. I see them. Look at all of the bubbles. The Fischalizer. The Fischalizer. How did you get that kayak? We uh we want we beat the the Frankenfish in the Halloween event. Harrison Go was here. Hello, Harrison. Sorry you haven't been here in forever. Hey, no big deal, bro. No big deal. Glad to see you, man. <laughs> oh, well, right on. Whatever it takes, man. Hey! Oh yeah? Well, if it's easier to chat with me in Discord about it, you just let me know, man. We'll talk it up. Oh, me? Oh man, oh man, I got such a big fish on that one. He got a carp. See, we caught the fish in the bubbles. Get back here. Golly. man you just let me know just an 
ornery steelhead here. It looks like a striper. Get in here. All right, all right, here we go. I'll catch up with you farming at some other time. However, if you want carp, you can get them on duck muscle in the exact spot the sturgeon are. What? Duck muscle? What? Hey man, let me teach you a lesson about life. You're gonna get hate doing whatever you wanna do, but the only thing that changes is how strong you are mentally as an individual. If you uh, like video games, there are gonna be people who hate video games. If you like soccer, there's gonna be people who hate soccer. Apply it to whatever you like is what I'm saying. People will always not like it and will always share their hatred with whoever likes things. But you know what? Those people suck and there's nothing, not much you can do about it. I mean, there is, but uh, but golly, it takes a lot of time. Unless they're like super close to you or something. Not worth it. Whatever works, Harrison. Just be yourself, man. All right. We have officially gone through this entire playlist, which blows my mind how long it went on. That was crazy. That was a lot of songs. In UK, the car were massive. Oh, I know, man. I know. I tell you what, guys, I think we're going to fish for another 20 minutes here. And then I think we are just going to call it good for now. Right on, man. And now I'm actually able to truly enjoy the game. Thank you so much. Well, right on, Bearcat. I'm glad, man. Feel really good about it. You're just about to end. Well, I guess I joined late. Man, this was an entirely unplanned stream. We just randomly decided to stream, and I didn't really have a plan for when to not stream <laughs> but it's getting late so I figured 11 o'clock would be a good place to stop just got caught in the wild got any tips man shoot whatever you find make money level up play the missions and have fun and then once you get to a higher level and you want to start learning more about diamond animals and rotation of you know, feeding to drinking to sleeping and all that. You can always watch the BZ Hub Ultimate Beginner's Guide. And that that can also help you, I guess, Rowan. Not to brag or anything, but it's kind of the best beginner's guide on YouTube for the Hunter Call of the Wild. So not a big deal. Just saying. Nah, you had to see you catch the legendary one pound mint. Oh, are those fighting words? Are those, are those fighting words? Samuel? Always aim for the lungs. Oh, good one. Good one, Harrison. What time is the stream tomorrow? Man, same time as always when it comes to the scheduled stream, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. 
don't have enough money the game is kind of boring very true what time is it for me in real life it's 10 43 so i got 17 minutes man how have how to get five hook rashed rashid um go to the store go to the store and buy the hooks in the terminal tackle how you help everyone out oh well i certainly try to Rowan. you never know never know i have a question what are the odds of catching three unique pie in a row very 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 small um i suppose if you used a big hook that cut out the percentage of other smaller pike it could be a little bit bigger but it's very small I mean, I remember catching two unique pike in the same day, and I thought that was pretty good. But I have seen people catch, like I was watching one video a while back, and that person caught three unique asps in one day, which I thought was pretty crazy. Anywho, yeah. Any tips for Beluga? Um, don't worry about it. Put on a big 10 out hook and some duck muscle meat and the belugas will find you playing this account for less than a week oh yeah man understandable harrison absolutely she wait off your chest very nice never caught a unique any tips on how um yeah i mean honestly if you ever want to like learn how to catch a unique best thing you can do is just go on youtube and see what other people use to catch them um man we're not catching any fish right now uh i mean if and i mean i mean that in a way of like what hooks you should use I mean, the longest thing you can do is you can just go out and say, well, I think I should use a two-aught hook. And if you catch one, then you did all right. And you can even go to the, you know, we're in San Joaquin right now, and I'm catching uh, white sturgeon. So I can go to white sturgeon, and I can see how much they weigh. Um, I've got a 54-pounder and these ones are 55 pounds. So I know that with my four odd hook, I'm pretty close. Um, I might be able to stretch it to a five odd hook, but because my biggest one's 54 pounds and the leaderboard is 55 pounds, I know I'm, I'm like right there. So the size of the hook is like perfect for where I am. Um, but if, if you were way off, if you were catching a 20 pound fish and the leaderboard has 50, then you would know that you should probably increase your hook size by quite a bit um, because you're a ways off. Now, if you increase it too much and you're not catching any fish, then go down a size and you can do that way. Or like I said, you can just go to YouTube and see what people use to catch their unique. <laughs> that, that, that's a little bit easier. shore fishing trip dang man i want to go shore fishing absolutely hey take care harrison how do you know where to cast for the fish well like i was saying you can see this these bubbles right here see the bubbles bubbles that's where the fish are and you'll see if you just stare out on the water you'll f you'll see fish jumping you'll see little uh, bubbles out there little boils and whatnot and that's usually tells you where the fish fish are oh i just saw one way out there so so yeah that's a that's a good place for sure david mitchell sorry you're late hey no big deal man don't you worry about it one bit. 
We are going to end the stream here in 12 minutes, though, so it's a good thing you got here when you did. So I saw that little fish jump there, so I know that there could be a fish right there. But uh, who's to say I have the right lure? And looky there, we got ourselves a fish. Boom, boom. Like magic, yes, just like magic. Exactly like magic. You see the bubbles, and boom, it happens. That is, that's magic, right? Bubbles are magic. Pretty sure. But you can also just fish towards whatever looks good. You know, I, I'm I'm casting towards these weeds and, and then dragging it across this open channel here. So that might be a good place for fish, you know? You see how much I love you're watching your vids, bro? It's like 4.50 a.m. and I'm still here watching your vids. <laughs> well, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Megan's gonna head out, take care. Happy New Year. Hey, thank you, David. You as well, man. Thank you, thank you. Hey, there we got a fish. Fish that is not sturgeon. How about that? How about that? Uh, he was here, I want to say, but I haven't seen him since then. Didn't feel like Christmas this year. Gosh darn it. Yeah, it was a little off. We didn't have any snow, and we usually have snow, which really, really kind of put a damper in it. <laughs> if there's no snow on Christmas, it just doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't feel the same. friend said I would get it when I reach big enough level two but wondering what do you think um yeah I mean once you get to a place that uh has boats then you should be fine everyone like and sub before he goes <gasps> <laughs> it hasn't snowed on Christmas 10 years in England oh no but you got good presents. Oh, that, that's how oh, good. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah, these fish are just jumping all over the place. You okay? Yarn is... Yarn is not happy that he's stuck in here. Just for another eight minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he wants out. <laughs> Got fishing tackle in real life for Christmas, so you're happy. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. You got a new lose rod and reel combo. Dude, that's sweet. That's awesome. Bait casting combo or, or a spinning reel? I guess I should say casting rod, not bait casting. I'm so bad about calling it bait casting when you, you're not you're not using baits. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. Go.
Got him. There we go. Spinning reel. Hey, right on, man. Your brother had your phone. Did he do anything? No. No, we did not. Though if he, uh, though he might have, he might have uh, changed your like to a dislike or something like that. I don't know. It's best to just check that, make sure that the the video is still liked. I, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you better check, make sure the video is still liked. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Patriot hunting rifle for Christmas. Hey, right on, Lippin' Bass. That's awesome. <sighs> you have ice. You got a kayak and catfish gear. Well, right on, John. That's sweet. I'm saving up for a kayak. Then I'll then I'll go yak around and I'll say yak just like a regular old kayaker. Not like the the common people without kayaks. I'll go, yeah. People will go, "What are you doing this weekend?" And I'll go, "Oh, I'm going to go yak around, man. Going to go yak and fish. Just a little fishing yak action." That's me. You know me. I was walking around, I found a stand I could build and I actually bought it. Now I only have $20. Well, how about that? <laughs> it's okay. Just keep hunting. If anything, the uh, the 243 soft point tip uh, bullets are, are free. So there's never a point where you get locked out. some bass flip-flop dude i have bass flip-flops as well my brother gave them to me for for christmas one year last year actually so that's awesome be back next stream hey right on man What's the difference between spin casting and casting rods? Spin casting rods usually have like a cover over the reel and then they have like a button that you press and throw out. It's like the Zebco basically. The old Zebco reels that you might have had when you were a kid or like uh, they hit, some of them like have like cartoon characters and stuff on, on them at the store and stuff. They're really easy to use. That's why people like them. Um, but spinning rods are the ones that have the uh, the open face with the bale that you have to open up to throw it. Something called shrimp sticks. I'll show you all tomorrow. It works really well. Well, dang, bro. Sounds good. Ooh. I'll have to see. I'll have to see BZ up the best. That dude's gonna freaking push buttons. Yes, push buttons. You have to push the button to let the line out. Golly. He's biggin', he's biggin'. Ah, he's just being difficult, I think. What pound line are you using? Uh, we got 52 pound line on this rod. 
think we got like 46 or 44 on the other. Yeah, he was small. He was just a pain. Just being a pain, man. Ninety likes on the stream will ride on. Yeah, I guess if you're still here and you haven't hit that like button, man, would appreciate it, but not a big deal. If you don't want to, not a big deal. When's the next call the wild stream? Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. That's usually when I when we do it anyway, half and half Mondays and stuff. He's a small one. That's right. He's a small one. Oh my gosh. Just being difficult. And you got 44 pound line you can't use. Gosh darn it. Hey, thanks for all the hard work you put into them for us. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I think these are going to be our last two fish, everyone. Hopefully we can pull this guy in real quick. There we go. Now we just have one left. Trying to grind for the bottom sniper. Right on, John Day. How did the stream get 91 likes yet like 60 people watched? That's because I streamed this for like three hours almost and and people have joined and left and joined and left over three hours. It's pretty cool that it stayed around high 40s, 50s, and 60s this whole time though. It's pretty cool. Especially for an unplanned stream on a Sunday. <laughs> the bottom sniper is such a cool name I agree well what are you doing man where are you fishing BZ Alba's best the Tiber River oh that's true that is nice all right, ending it up with a 49-pound white sturgeon at the end there. Not too shabby. Look how happy he nail is. Not too bad, he nail. It's not an Octuba beluga, but that's okay. Sometimes you can't always catch Octuba belugas. There we go. All right, well, take care, everyone. This was fun. I had a lot of good fun. Uh, it was a good time, and i uh, not sure what else I'll do to level up to 50 before Wednesday, but I'm certainly going to try to. <laughs> How much money did we make from this whole place? Let's find out. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. 93,000, so yeah. I don't know how long we fished there, but we made the same amount of money as we did catching those pike at St. Croix, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there are some people who swear by the sturgeon fishing, but we just, we made this, we literally made almost, the, I don't know if I can say literally and almost in the same, same sentence, but basically, basically, uh, yeah, we literally almost made the same amount of money fishing both of them. So very nice. Well, that's it, everyone. Take care, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central here on YouTube. A little half and half Monday. A hunter call, a wild, plus some fishing planet. And that's, that's going to do it.
Bye bye from Illinois. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye from Texas. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. And as always, remember.